Welcome back, chat. Welcome back. How you been? How have I been? Excellent. <laughs> Not excellent. I have been nose deep in video editing for the past four days. And I'm, I'm only like halfway done. <laughs> Help me. Help. <laughs> chat, I don't like making really long freaking videos. I don't. Why does it keep happening? I, what, you know what? No more Final Fantasy again. <laughs> Oh god, chat up. I'm, I'm just to like, you know, clue you in on things. The FF7 rebirth video was like 450 sins. I'm only at like 200. I still got a little over half the video left after just like three full days of editing. I'm debating, this one might be another one of those like FF16 that doesn't get captions just because that's a whole bunch more work on top of it. <laughs> So don't be surprised if, you know what, you gotta listen to my words instead of reading them in the video. Uh, also, Morgana, thank you for the seven month streak of your sub, by the way. Also, Nurse6, uh, thank you for your 36 month. And Aaron Blue, YouTube, I guess. Uh, well, you, you didn't sub, you just decided to waste all your coin. Uh, well, hey, thank you for putting that in there. You know, you deposited it at the very least. Uh, but, uh, I'll be alright. Once I get this video done, well, here's the thing that I'm really worried about. I'm going to be launching the Patreon with the FF7 video, and one of my, uh, one of my stretch goals for the Patreon is if I get enough people to, like, subscribe to it, I'll have to send Persona 5. <laughs> so it's a possibility that I finish up this video and then have to start work on another really long JRPG. Nose deep doesn't sound that deep. For your face, nose deep is, is the only, like, measurement tool you get, alright? Your nose is like the full-on yardstick for, like, facial depth. You know it to be true. <clears throat> As a little hint, do most of the sins constitute story, gameplay, or what? Uh, there's only- there's not many gameplay sins because I think I already, for the most part, got all those out of the way back in Remake. Uh, and there isn't really much change except for like the open world stuff, which I do hit upon. And I did mention the synergy attacks, so most of it is plot based. It's just there's a lot of plot based stuff. Will Dart get the silver pipe and gold pipe? We'll see. I don't even know what those are. Wow, what a mansion! Technically, no mansions in Silent Hill, I don't think, right? It's all like you know, town stuff. Uh, but I thank you for uh, your super chat, Lionel James, and I also thank you for your bits, Polycarp. Keep a good look on that. You'll want to see the subscriber count coming for Persona. Well, I already have. It's set to like, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 like I said, I set it to like a, if I, when I launch the Patreon, if it's like a thousand paying members, uh, that's when the, the the stretch goal is met, and I have to send Persona Five. I have difficulty believing that many people will sign up for my Patreon out the gate. <laughs> so I think I've got some time. Uh, honestly, if I even get a couple hundred people to sign up for it, I'll be impressed. I'm keeping my like. Uh, reservations pretty realistic because I from what I've seen of patrons you can't really guesstimate very well or accurately how will they do I'm just excited to launch it and be done with it and so I can start working on it properly <laughs> making a joke about you'll never see it coming you know what I a lot of jokes go over my head you realize have you heard of Silent Hill's sister city shut the fuck up <laughs> I have heard many Many uh, puns of Silent Hill in the time in my time. Yes, Quiet Mountain, Whisper Mesa. It's really easy to actually joke upon Silent Hill's name. I'm gonna sign up Red Letter Media, and you. Hey, well, I thank you for it. You'll be getting like two new series out of it, so it's not you know, like I'm not. I'm gonna be like not putting effort into it. It's gonna be like the second leg of my content, you know, pipeline actually. Which Silent Hill game is my favorite? Silent Hill 2. I think pretty much everyone's favorite, well, for the most part, is Silent Hill 2. Uh, although, again, you know what, Silent Hill, I, I like Silent Hill 4 as well because of how weird and different it is from the rest of them. Uh, but it's got too many issues to make it my favorite. You beat Silent Hill 3 recently and I'm working on the fourth one pretty good so far. You know, interestingly enough, this is the PC version of Silent Hill 3. I've only ever played the wow. PS2 version of it. So I didn't have to even, you know, crack out my Pakistani GameCube to play a game that I could play a legitimate PC copy. 
Also, uh, Owen, thank you for the 100 bits, man. And Viva La Trash, thank you for your 60 month sub. Are these sound effects going off tonight? Or am I missing them? <laughs> Some of them go off, and then maybe they're delayed. Silent Hill 2 is like Mass Effect 2, just stands above the rest. Uh, well, I actually, I don't want to mention it right now, because, uh, like I've mentioned, my very, one of my first two videos for the Patreon, one of them is going to be covering Silent Hill 1, and I actually put a lot of my thoughts into the Silent Hill franchise into that video, so when you get that big, long, juicy opening sent to that video, uh, you'll get my thoughts on it. Will Dart get Snake Suppressor? That's in this game? Wait, is that for real? Friend of mine made a very elaborate Silent Hill 2 soundboard, then played all the horrible noises and screams all at once, ending with James going, I pricked myself. Why did he do this for? That, that seems like a strange thing to do. Silent Hill 3 is your favorite. I got the version that came with the soundtrack. I like Silent Hill 3. I like actually my favorite thing about Silent Hill 3. Well, two things. The I think it's like the strongest audio wise in terms of like the environmental and like horror sounds. And also, I think it has the, technically, I think it has the best main character, even better than, like, uh, James from Silent Hill 2, despite how good that was. Uh, I've, I've mentioned before that I think Heather is, like, one of the best female characters in a video game, or, like, in terms of written female characters. Uh, I'll, go into, I'll go into more detail on that while we play it. Uh, but I've always thought, wow, that is a well-written female character for a video game. Especially coming out of a Japanese developer. Heather is amazing. Yeah, she, they do a very good job of making, like, well, I, I would call her, like, she's almost, in a little way, she reminds me a little bit of Ripley from, uh, Alien. And there's reasons for that. Also, your original Silent Hill, Street, Silent Hill 3 stream was the first stream I ever watched by anyone. Perfect for a while I'm doing nail art. Hey, glad to bring it back for you. The, the reason I'm playing Silent Hill 3 again, by the way, is because my original recorded footage of Silent Hill 3 didn't record right back then. Uh, it only captured the audio and none of the actual video. So if I ever want to make a video on it, which is likely, uh, I need to like re-record it. So might as well stream it for you know the people who like who missed it back then, or you know obviously I'm streaming on YouTube as well now. Hmm. But uh, yeah, that's that's the that's the reason for it. <clears throat> it also lets me, like, take my mind off all the video editing I've been doing. Ah. Remember the final boss giving you- oh yeah, the final boss of this game is not exactly great. <laughs> and it'll probably give me the business again, because here's the thing. I'm playing this with keyboard and mouse. Not controller. That's probably gonna make things a little bit more difficult for me. <laughs> so if I suck real hard tonight, Keep in mind, I'm playing a Silent Hill game with a keyboard and a mouse. You plan to watch the Fallout series? I don't really watch that much TV, and I'm not that interested in video game you know, adapt adaptations for film and TV. And I don't even have the streaming service it's on. It's unlikely. I think the Silent Hill quadrilogy is perfect. I don't think it's perfect. I honestly think it kind of peaked at 2, and then it started like... 3 was good, but 3 had issues, and 4 was... A really solid idea but had way more issues and uh yeah on honestly two is like the honestly all of silent hill couldn't it doesn't even need to be a series you could really just have silent hill 2 and it would have the same legacy nothing changed that's what everyone thinks of when they think of silent hill <laughs> why not use a controller because the pc version of silent hill 3 doesn't really support any controllers <laughs> this ain't a game you can buy on steam it's abandonware Subbing with Prime was more complicated than I thought. Yeah, you gotta link that Amazon account and shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. You dart, you suck like pro. That is an interesting meal st sentence you just gave me. I suck like a pro what? <laughs> is the monster design in here as good as... Actually, I would say outside of Pyramid Head, the monster design in this is very good as well. Like, yeah, two is probably like peak, but this one comes very close to some of its monsters in it. Uh, it's just because 2 has Pyramid Head, though, that it gets put above it. <laughs> oh, don't have Prime Symbol next to my name? You gotta change that manually, I think. Like, you gotta go into, like, your settings for, like, the channel and, like, change it to, like, the Prime Symbol. It's weird. Uh, 
What is this? Do I get a hype train going? Oh, thank you. Thank you for your sub. Uh, are you using keyboard and mouse to deliberately make the game harder? I literally can't. If I, my controller will not work with this PC game. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I think there is a program you can use to force it to use controller inputs. Uh, but I didn't even look into that. If I... I'll wait till, like, if I need it. Tonight will be, like, testing and see how well it works. If not, then tomorrow I'll use that program and force it to use controller. And fix that issue. But I'm willing to try at least once with keyboard and mouse. Tonight I will be enjoying some of Dardigan's favorite drink while watching this live stream. Red wine. Why are you spreading lies about me that I drink wine? Why would you do this? I was wondering why the Silent Hill series ambiance reminded me of Nine Inch Nails. Apparently the music director was directly inspired by Trent Reznor's work. Uh, you talking about like the opening theme song? Sadly, I can't risk playing the theme song to this game because I'm pretty sure that would get like booped by Konami. Uh, otherwise I would let that play. Your gaming sins had me laughing during crucial and difficult times over the years. Thank you again. Hey, Lionel, thank you for uh, the kind words, man. I will have a very, very long one now for you very soon. Uh, it's going to be like over an hour or so long. So hopefully that will cover any other future sad moments you have. That's what I, that's, the, that's an excellent way. I wish that all of your future sad moments can be packed into one hour of time. That leaves all the rest of them for like good positivity. Silent Hill, I like this game. Hey, I like this game too. I made a bot that analyzes a face and gave and give a racial slur according. I want to make YouTube vid about it. Is there a way I can make YouTube not delete the video? Uh, ooh, I, ooh. as long as you don't actually display or say the racial slur, you should be all right. Uh, you'd have to like, yeah, avoid showing that. A little tricky. Uh, why did you make a bot that is racist, by the way? I'm questioning the logic there. I made a I made a, a an AI that just splur sh sh says racial slurs. Uh, what's that used for? Why can't we have an AI bot that detects yo know, the type of ice cream someone's eating and gives you like a name of that? You made it for science. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what type of science is that is it that that skull measuring science you know that you know that one is that what it is uh do you have a favorite video game ambiance soundtrack mine's probably quake one uh if it's ambiance it might actually just be doom i mean that's ambiance for you face melding ambiance but ambiance he works at Google, I mean Google. He wouldn't have to ask me how to like put it on YouTube if he worked at Google, you realize. I don't think that's how that would work. Didn't Adobe Premiere almost make you insert a racial slur? Uh, yeah, that was, well, I didn't know most. I caught it well before ever like anything done. It just, when it was like applying the captions, it for some reason heard me say one word. Uh, I think it was like Necronomicon or something like that and thought I was saying something else. And like would write it down in the captions like he's saying this. This music is part calming, part unsettling. That is an excellent way of describing it, actually. Craniometry, uh, craniometry is that, that, that yeah, whatever, whatever the one is where they measure the shape of the skull, to like determine your part, your intellectual, you know, parameters of a person or like personality things. You know that races pseudoscience. Glad I haven't missed anything. Yeah, you know, and that's what my good cold opens are for. Let's people show up. Because I know not everyone's like hovering over that watch page. Don't know what make it Mark there be for a bot like that. I know there was like a YouTube video of someone who like trained our AI off 4chan. And it was like vile. Hi all who Hi, what's up, Ray? How you doing? That was just the ghost of Lovecraft editing a racist slur. You know what? For all Lovecraft's actual racism, he didn't, you know, put it into it. Outside of that one poem he made, all of his stories usually just use the word swarthy. Like the, these swarthy, you know, people. 
That was how he like hid his racism from so many people. He just used the word swarthy. You gotta admit that Silent Hill 2 definitely has the best soundtrack in the whole- It's got the best theme, I would definitely say. I think this game actually has better environmental sounds, especially like when you're being like attacked by monsters. It is like panic inducing to a degree. Have you already streamed Silent Hill 3? Yes. But my footage from that record that stream didn't take, like I didn't, uh, it didn't record properly. So if I want to make a video on it, I need to record it again. And there is a high probability that I'll be making a Silent Hill 3 video or one of the Patreon videos since this counts as classic sins now, since it was a 2003 game. Uh, and also my first classic sins is on Silent Hill 1, so this feels like it might be a good follow up. But I need to re-record it if that's going to be the case. If only the Necronomicon were real, what would you do with that? <laughs> this book of flesh and evil. That music is scary. What is do do? This is like save room music in this game, though. They're making a big deal out of the squatters for some reason. It's nothing to worry about. Uh, I believe the squatting has been going up a lot recently. And then someone made an app that helps you like figure out places to squat at. So become a new like cultural battle. Fun fact, after the Great Depression hit in 1929, we slowly went woke. Oh, I didn't know we started back then. Oh, that was a more recent thing. Uh, when will you play Lifeline for PS2? You know, I have had that thought of playing that before. Probably at some point, though I hear it, it's mainly just like infuriating to play and that's the only reason you play it. I don't think anyone's ever actually finished it. Heavy squatting is good. Well, you're thinking of the good squats. I mean, I did those the other day, actually. Good times. I can still feel the burn. I didn't even like bother doing my other exercise today because I'm in too much pain. If I wake up, does that mean you make me woke? I, I hereby ban the word woke. <laughs> it doesn't have a solid definition. When will you be playing Pyongyang Racer? It's the hot new AAA title. Hmm, they actually have cars there? That are like outside like the 1950s? Be interesting. Caked up doms. I am extremely caked up. I'm not gonna lie. I won't even like lie or anything about that. I, I, I have the cake. I'm a, I'm a caked up dude. Do my squats, my lunges, a bunch of other exercises, hamstrings. It all flows together. I don't know if you ladies are into that, but hey, I got it. I don't know if you you fellas are into that, but I got it too. I haven't been to the gym in years. I have good genetics. Don't need it. Oh, come on now. That is that, that there is no such thing as ah uh, good genetics. Yeah, I mean yeah. I've seen dudes who've said they ha who have bragged about their genetics before lose everything they've once gained. It, seeing the thing is, we're all genetically programmed to lose muscle if we don't work out. Called atrophy. So, uh, you know, be careful with that. You may have like a higher base, maybe you're just like a really big dude naturally to a bone structure, but you definitely lose muscle mass. Uh, you got redacted band. Uh, would rather have us use words like yacht, gooning, and edging than words with more than one meaning. It's just that if to who, well, well, all those words only have one meaning, to be honest. Uh, woke is just whoever is using it, it will have a different definition, and you have to figure out that person's personality first before you can understand what they're talking about. <laughs> and how they're using it. Just because you may look jacked on the outside due to genetics, that doesn't mean actually you're strong. Well, true. I don't deny that. Sometimes people like will work out for mass and body rather than actual strength as well. And also there can be like really skinny dudes who are incredibly strong. Like look at any mountain climber, especially like a free climber. They are lanky and skinny as hell, but they have like massive like strength actually. But it's all focused on like being able to hold up and move their own body weight. More bone structure. Yeah, bone structure can definitely have you like look always being like big, uh, but you lose strength regardless if you don't actually work out. 
Uh, you can kind of tell how someone thinks when they use the word woke incorrectly in a sentence, and they clearly have no idea what... That's why I try to never use this word. Because I don't want to, like, confuse someone and make them have to figure out my entire personality and belief system. Because I chose to use a four-letter word. I have so many other good four-letter words I can use. It's like, there, there are people who, like, make a lot of assumptions of just one word you use it. And that's what we have to name these days. Dudes who take others to Mount Everest. Well, first and foremost, Mount Everest has become like a joke of its like historic self. It's like a tourist trap almost. Like you can go and look, see like lines of people climbing the mountain like every year. I can clock that shit instantly and it makes me die inside every time. <laughs> Same here. Also depends on what you... Uh, what you work out, usually fat people have insanely strong legs because they have to carry that people. Uh, it depends. If they move around, they still have to move around a lot. If they're like the kind of like fat, overweight person who like sits around all day, uh, they're still gonna have like not strong legs. But if they are out actually moving their body, then yeah, they sometimes do develop, you know, pretty strong leg muscles. Don't forget the piles of trash and feces. Uh, yeah, like it's a trash dump there on Everest. And there's still dead people like lying there as well. Climb Mount Fuji if you reach there before dying in the forest. Mount Fuji is like a actually a pretty common, it's easy, like gentle climb. You just walk up the entire thing. Now, there was a dude I remember seeing a video of a few years ago who accidentally started sliding and it couldn't stop and died because he just slid all the way down it. Uh, but you don't have to go through the suicide forest to reach Mount Fuji. Anyone in this chat is woke with the exception of those who are viewing in their sleep. See, this, this is someone who's like being a little too on the nose. Define disco. Disco? Mostly music I never listened to. <laughs> a lot of bell bottoms. And like, suede. No joke, I learned about disco as a child from watching the movie Airplane. It's like, why are they dressed like freaks? What is this bad music? Dying in the forest, lol? You mean unaliving themselves? Yeah, you can't use certain words anymore, right? Okay, Dora, just tell me how much money do I have to throw uh, to you on Patreon to play the Thing video game? <laughs> well, that's not what the Patreon's gonna be used for. It's not to, like, make orders for, you know, for certain games. And there's only gonna be, like, three tiers. $3, $10, and $15, and honestly, everyone's gonna go for the $3 one. That gets you everything. As for playing The Thing, that is something I have considered doing before. Because I do like the movie The Thing. Uh, so you don't have to give me any money for it, because it'll probably eventually happen. <clears throat> no such thing as bad music in disco. I, I'm just not a fan of disco. <laughs> or at least the style of disco. Uh, let's see. However, $1,000? What? However, yes, for 1000 I'll play the thing again. I never want to set that precedent of, like, you pay me money, I'll play the game you want me to play. I, I have always avoided that, because I've had people offer before. It's like, no, that's all, you keep your money. I'll probably get to it eventually anyways. $15 it is. Well, technically, the $15 tier will only really get you pictures of my cat as an extra. <laughs> like I said, the way I'm putting together a Patreon is it's like, every $3 gets you everything. And the two other tiers are for people who want me to say their name at the end of videos, and for people who want to, like, just give more because they have more. Because that's, that's really all it is. Like, three dollars gets you everything It's important. Honestly, the the cat thing was put there as a joke because someone in my chat mentioned it when I first mentioned the Patreon. Like, have a, have a tier for your cat. <laughs> so yeah, cat picks. I do follow a streamer that does that. What? Cat takes money to play games? Yeah, I, I don't want to set that precedent. It just it's not good, I feel. One, it might end me it might end with me having to play a game I really don't want to play as well. Uh 1000 bits from Base Clef. Got paid yesterday. Have some bits, you beautiful funny man. Well, uh thank you for the bits, uh you wonderful mod you, and also wonderful you know, person who's you know everyone in the chat loves. Honestly, can't think of a negative thing to say about you, and I'm not even sure why I was looking for one. You know what? You're too nice. There you go, the classic. You're too nice. 
too sweet and honest. Also, Polycarp, they give you 1,000 bits. You, though, you're a right bastard. <laughs> I apologize for that. You, you deserve better. But thank you. I feel like you, you wanted me to say something like that, though. Uh, he spoke of tortured souls so outrageous the toll you could lose all you have. You refused to give it. What is this? Hometown sound of their... Oh, yeah. It's weird when I read lyrics out without actually, like, Singing them how they're supposed to be song, I can't recognize the song. Uh, Dory, you have standards. I like to think I have principles, yes. I mean, hey, have you ever noticed, uh, chat, that over my entire nearly 10 years on YouTube, I really don't do sponsorships. Have you noticed that the only one I ever took was for Discord? And that's because I was already using Discord. <laughs> and I put it at the very end of a video instead of the beginning. You've never seen me like shill out for like, hey, you want to me let me tell you about this here, uh, here like your know, mobile game. I I really love it, you know. Or hey, do you, do you want to like, uh, want to like join the Dollar Shave Club? So uh, I I I've left a lot of money on the table to keep those principles. That's why I need the Patreon so badly. That's why I need that Patreon chat. Turning down all this mobile game money. Do they pay that much more? I, let's just say I could easily double or triple my income if I started accepting sponsorships like that. Uh, yeah, that's how many YouTubers make the money that they you will know, actually make off YouTube. There's a reason why you, pretty much every YouTuber with an audience will like have pretty much a sponsor for every video they make these days. Not to hold that against them. They probably have higher overhead costs than me as well. Video is brought to you by Scanning for Better Help. Do you, are you do you are you mentally ill? Do you not have enough money to afford an actual therapist? Here's a, here's an app. Will you accept the sponsorships? Well, no, it's, I don't want to accept sponsorships. That's one of the reasons I'm I'm turning to Patreon because if I'm gonna like get extra money outside of YouTube ads, YouTube ads, I'd rather it come from people who actually like my content and want to see more of it. Not just someone who wants to, like, pay me money to get time in front of your eyeballs. Series on sponsorship sins? No. Like I said, I don't hold that against other YouTube channels for doing it. Sometimes you, they have no choice. It's just something I never wanted to do, because I hate the idea of just spending a minute to three minutes at the beginning of my video talking about some product I will never use. I hate... I, I just... I can't bring myself to do it. Like, I will never sit there and tell you to go use the, some stupid app that everyone else is pushing or like some uh, uh, play this mobile shit game yeah, I couldn't do it I'd, I'd start making the, the the plug and then I'd stop halfway and just give them their money back I wouldn't be able to do it I was able to do it for discord that was it because I was already using discord and I'd already advertised discord for free on my channel before because yeah it's where my community is so I had no problem accepting like some money from them to like do it for like a you know all right, sure. You want to do the thing? Pay me to do the thing I was already doing. That's fine. Express VPN. Yeah, all the chat. Most people never have any need for using a VPN. You almost, unless you were just paranoid about your data, using a VPN uh, doesn't really help you. <laughs> unless you just need to bypass certain like you know restrictions on you know that countries put on you. That's about the only good reason I can think of to have a VPN. I have a problem with people having sponsorships. My problem is when they do, but don't even use that product. Well, that's almost every single one of them. I mean, legally they were required to have tried using it, but they only have to like use it once and then they can say whatever they want about it. I, I could never tell people to go use up something I don't use regularly. I don't shave that much because I don't really grow much facial hair, so I can't do the dollar shave club. I don't play mobile games, so that gets rid of that. I don't use VPNs. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm actually quite, you know, if I can toot my own horn, pretty proud of the fact that I've managed to avoid that, despite the, the pull to do it. These sins are brought to you by... After an intense bidding war, this sin video is brought to you by Heinz. Ketchup you know and trust. Dardigan is a fed confirmed way. What am I doing? That? I'm not a glowy, all right? What's up, Celestial? How you doing, man? What did you think of Silent Hill, the short message? Good question. I like parts of it, but the gameplay they decided upon just being chased around in the final section of that game were terrible. 
Uh, but it, for the it, the atmosphere actually felt pretty correct, and I didn't mind that one bit. It just that the gameplay of just being chased around was like, eh. Also, Jesus Lord Rush, thank you for the 20 memberships, dude. Uh, be sure to give him a big pat on the back if you got a membership from him. Or, you know, even if you didn't get one from him, send him some love. Like, wow, what a fucking chat. Just to confirm, was the highest tier of your Patreon price 15? Actually, it's only 13. I, I actually was going to make it 15, but I lowered it. But like I said, it's really only get 13 will only get you like, it'll give me, I'll say your name as a special thank you at the end of game send videos. And I think I'll also like answer a question or like say something you want me to say in my voice in a separate video on Patreon and you get like cat pics, but you also get everything else at the $3 tier and it gets as well. It's made like $3 is what it's priced to give you everything that you would ever want. And the other two tiers are just like people who really want to like add a little bit extra and get a little bit, just a little tiny little extra as well. So $3 is more. I couldn't really ask anyone for more than that anyways. One time I was listening to a podcast of four people and they advertise a product they say they use, but when I looked it up, those products weren't available in the countries of two of those. <laughs> that seems about right. That seems the, uh, the, you know, the normal sponsorship route. Darting and Cameo win. I don't think I'm famous enough to be on Cameo. You know, I found out the chat was lying to me when they said I had a Wikipedia page. It's a Wikitubia page. I was disappointed because I was telling everyone, like, you know, you know someone who has a Wikipedia page? I was like, I, I got hype off that. Like, the Wikitubia does not have the same, you know, pizzazz or, like, bragging rights as a Wikipedia chat. How dare you confuse me. <laughs> Unless I was wrong and I just couldn't find it, but I went looking for it a few nights ago. I was like, wait, where's this Wikipedia page I was told I have? Cat pics? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's one of the... <laughs> that's the highest tier I have, actually. You get everything plus cat pics. Have you ever thought about doing Cameo? Uh... I feel like if you do live streaming like I do and answer questions like this, no one would ever bother going to a cameo to pay me money to do it. They could just show up in one of my live streams and at Dartigan and like, hey Dartigan, can you say this for me? And I'd end up doing it for free. So I don't think cameo would work out too well because I, I would just do it for free for you. Like chat, go ahead. Chat, have something you want me to say in chat. What's something you want me to say? Also, Lord Rush, goddamn dude. You already gave people 20 CEO memberships. Uh, but thank you for the $100 super chat. Thank you for all the laughs over the years. Do you follow any of the drama on YouTube like DSP, Keemstar, Mr. Medicare? Uh, I don't follow drama, and I don't watch Keemstar or DSP, but I do watch Mr. Medicare streams uh, on the, like, once a month he send him streams. Because I know the dude's, like, not healthy these days. Uh, but I am not a drama whore. I don't like watching or learning. I have usually no interest too much in drama. Most of it is pretty boring anyways. Uh, so I'm kind of thankful that I have that mentality. <laughs> I don't want to get you, you invested in drama. I'm thankfully I've always avoided drama as well. Also, Polycarp, Jesus, man. 1,000 bits. Skiggle bits. What is a skiggle first, by the way? Define skiggle. Say, get that ass banned. There you go. See, did it for free. You didn't have to pay me for it. I have a TV tropes page. Yeah, I've had that for years, though. Uh, Dart, you better get scared by the game because the poll said so. Well, the poll ain't totally over yet. Say, David Cage is a competent game developer. You think that was difficult for me to say? Come on, give me something hard. Can you please say, my neck, my back. <coughs> oh, in a Wesker voice. My neck, my back. Best Wesker voice I can pull out on short notice. Uh, have you been seeing those realistic looking video games coming out recently? The ones that are all like, uh, uh, webcam, or they basically like, uh, looks like it's being shot through a GoPro. Yeah. Well, there's a horror game recently though, but it was apparently shit. DSP is an animal. Uh, well, Complete. he's definitely a roach because the guy don't die or at least his career don't. Also, Polygar, thank you for the hundred bits of complete global saturation. <laughs> Thank you, Dart. You've caught so many grenades for us, like Vampire. Oh, well, that's my job, buddy. I catch the grenades. I jump on them so you can play the good games. Why don't I own a monkey? You know what? That is an excellent question. I have asked myself that before. That I, Because as a child, I thought owning a monkey would be something I would do. I literally, I remember asking, why don't I own a monkey yet? I'm in my 20s. 
what, what, uh, like when, as soon as I got into my 20s, I was like, why do I own a monkey yet? And I looked it up, I was like, oh, because they're exotic animals. And they're actually apparently a massive headache. Medicare streams are great. I donate way too much to that guy. Uh, he has, yeah, like I said, I, I do like Medicare, so. Uh, but like I said, I feel for the dude because he's like pretty much in hospice care at this point. Uh, I might do $15 one when you open your Patreon so I hear my name when you uh, play Deadly Premonition. <laughs> like I said, well, it's only $13. I lowered it. I didn't want people paying that much for that. Something hard to say. Final Fantasy 13 is the greatest game of all time. Say, uh, me crooked, me crooked letter, crooked letter, I crooked letter, crooked letter, I pump that pump that I make them all die. I'm sure I said that in exactly the way you wanted me to say it as well. Did you hear EA canceled Dead Space 2? Yep, but I'm not surprised since Dead Space 1 remake did not sell particularly well. Most people were, like, fine with Dead Space 1 as it was. It didn't really need a remake. And you know what? After, like, EA killed off Dead Space 3 and the developer who made it, you know, I'm kind of glad I didn't. Even though I did like the remake of Dead Space 1. You can own a monkey in some states, like Washington. You know what? I'd settle for a sugar glider. They're a little bit easier. You're supposed to say the letters? Oh. In my crooked letter, crooked letter I, crooked letter, crooked letter I, pump that, pump that I, make them all die. What, what song is this? <laughs> Seriously, they scrapped DS2? Yep. EA is a, is a funny company, chat. Very funny company. If a if Final Fantasy H Junction system is better than Final Fantasy 13, it is. I like Final Fantasy... I will take Final Fantasy 8 any day over 13. I have a good heart. Ah, oh, well, thank you. I've tried to be a good person in my life. I don't feel like, I can honestly say I don't feel I've ever screwed anyone over. And I think that is, you know what, that's a pretty good metric these days. I've never screwed anyone over. But thank you, Dante. You're a good, you're a good one too, Dante. But thank you for the 200, but 200 bits, Polycarp. Which version of the game are you going to be playing? The OG PS2 release or P this is the PC version of Silent Hill 3. Last time I played the PS2 version on my Pakistani GameCube. Please say metals don't help me sleep at night in my Sam, in my, I have a Sam Fisher voice. <laughs> Hold on. What does Sam Fisher sound like again? Mm, Fisher. <laughs> I can only do, I can only do, I can only do Solid Snake. <laughs> it just comes out as like, uh, oh, Colonel. Grim, gr grim, gr grim, 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 grim. <laughs> I only know like one other character's name in that grim. Mm, grim, uh. Metals don't help me sleep at night. <laughs> it's the best I've got, I'm sorry. I don't have a Michael Iron. No one else has a Michael Ironside voice but Michael Ironside. <laughs> that devil may cry line is nostalgia. Yeah, you know, pretty much all of my you know sound effects are nostalgia. <laughs> Dead Space Remake was amazing. I thought it was a good game. However, uh I don't really feel it was that much better than the original. Isn't the PC port for Silent Hill 3 terrible? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I downloaded like a PC gaming mod as well that fixes up apparently all the issues it had. So it should be basically the same, just like slightly, you know, crisper looking. FF13 is overhated in my view. It's, I mean, what other Final Fantasy game can you hate more than it though? I mean, I, I 16, I, I, you know, I had way more fun than 16 than, than 13, I will say that much. They should have put Memorial and Alan Wake 2 for James. Hmm. Hmm. 16 was one. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be playing the DLC for 16 when that comes out. That'll make for an excellent DLC shins video. Would you ever consider playing Story of Seasons, Ruined Factory, or Harvest Moon? Uh, uh, okay, the only one of those I'm familiar with is Harvest Moon, and I can't really say I have any interest in playing that. Uh, what are the other two like? In an hour, he could have total recall roll. <laughs> uh, people would probably say Dirge of Cerberus. Uh, that's a side game, so I kind of don't consider that as like even like in the you know, the running. I was thinking solely of you know, you know, one through now you know, sixteen. Um, 
Mortals of Avium is super fun to play, but the story isn't that that game where it's like it's like the guy's like sigil up. <laughs> That's the only thing I remember in the trailer. It's like sigil up, and he's like the most generic looking dude possible. Sam has a bit of a Canadian accent. Well, that's the problem. I can't do that. Uh, if I try to do a Canadian accent, it will always come out as like, Sorry. I do the boot. <laughs> the most stereotypical thing you can think of. 13 versus 15. I'll take 15 over 13. What's up, Doctor? How you doing, man? Uh, So, let me like fight, get this game running real quick. Oh, it already is running. What am I doing? I just like... Did I just... Shit. It's alright. It's alright. It's not gonna like load it twice. Your Canadian is Minnesotan. Well, look. Minnesota... They're right next to him, alright? There's some crossover. Alright, you're gonna see my, uh... I have to use display capture for this game. Uh... It doesn't really work if I use game capture. It's like it was running in slow motion when I tested it out earlier. Uh, but for all you Silent Hill fans out there, this one's for you. Hmm. <clears throat> Probably be doing a video on this one soon as well. Let me get things fixed real quick. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll start recording now too. Make sure everything's running properly. Konami abandoned this series? I mean, what else can you say? They they released, like, one some shit recently, but it's all garbage. So I still consider it kind of abandoned. It's abandoned by quality. I think Lightning exists as a protagonist because the creator saw a cross-dressing cloud and went, that's my... I don't know, that creator of, like, like of 13 was in love with his main character. That's the problem with it. Uh, let's see. I don't really know what change any of this. I'll leave, you know what, I, I will, I'll leave subtitles on over the time, we'll see how big they are. I think lightning, but uh, let's, let's not, let's, let's cease the thinking of the FF13, it comes up too often. Let us think of Silent Hill, and how we can make fun of that. Alright chat, we now begin. I'm gonna play it on normal, plus normal, uh, you know what, yeah, normal riddle, little, little, little normal riddle. <laughs> I've already forgotten all the puzzles in this game. You like soup? What kind? There are some fan- You know what? I just want to say how much I love this opening image here. Because it, it's so creepy, you can't even like figure out what it is until you see the these shots later and it's a carousel. But it, but it freaking works. I used to think that was some kind of like horrible evil altar. It's like, oh, it's a, it's a carousel. I think when you got like a horse like shaking its head, you know, Jacob's Ladder style on it. What else do you to think of? Have you ever tried hot pot before? Uh, I believe I have, yes, but not for a long time. Uh, also, let me know about the audio. This game might be a little quiet. You know what? Given the state of the world, to, you know, America today, not too dissimilar what you might see to the theme park. <laughs> The sounds are like that guttural, like screeching sound. I love it. <clears throat> like, doop, doop. Footage was clearly at Six Flags, huh? So, let me try to like, get used to like using keyboard and mouse. So, still uses the tank controls, but the mouse becomes like the thing that moves me. Didn't you already play this? Yeah, but I didn't. My footage of it failed to record properly, and if I'm gonna make a video on it, I need to record it again. So, here we are. And this is the PC version, so nice and crisp looking, ain't it? Door shut tight, it won't open at all. This girl is the daughter from the protagonist from the first game. Maybe some people don't know. A rabbit doll, no, it's a costume. Is there someone in there?
And what's this? Something strange in a cagey box thing. A person? <laughs> I've always wondered who are these like mutated bodies that get caged up in these games? Went to a local festival for it was two dollars for a ticket and four tickets for a roller coaster and ten dollars to twenty to play a carnival. There, there's a carnival. Well, there's a there's a theme park not too far from me. Charges three dollars for you to throw a dart at a balloon. I was like I was like what? Uh, no, I can go buy a whole pack of balloons and throw darts at a cheaper price. Giant rabbit costume. Why would this be here? I kind of was hoping when I first played this game that these things would come after you. I use motion capture for this. Yeah, this game, the character models still look good to me in this game. Despite it being like over 20 years old. Uh, actually, this entire game still looks good to me. What am I saying? I'm pretty sure you can actually fall down this. And they wonder why they're so unsuccessful these days, huh? Do people pay? I didn't. I'm sure some people do, though. Alright, uh, let's see. I is menu. Wait, should I have the machine gun already? Well, th th I guess it doesn't matter. This is like a dream. What ver uh, what version of Silent Hill 3? This is on PC. That's why it's looking a bit more crisp in a PS2. Can you do it? reload when I have the gun out. Or is there a reload? I gotta say that that music when enemies show up in this game is by far the best of the entire series. I think this one also has the best using the best use of lighting. lock is broken. I can't open the door. Is this in media res? Tendily, this is a dream. Silent Hill games like to start off with a nightmare. I think one of the worst parts of Silent Hill 4 is the use of stock sound effects. Uh, yeah, the sound design at 4 was the weakest. But there's other problems that hold 4 back as well. Oh, this fucking thing. I hate these. These are like some of the worst, like, ugh. A little busted though, ain't it? Ma'am? That that ride's closed, ma'am. I've never been able to figure out what these things are supposed to be. I think that's the entire point. I had one friend who was, he was dead set on believing that these things represented the fear of tampons. Because for some reason, that's what he thought it was. It was like, oh, he thought, he was like, that's a walking tampon. I was like, dude, are you, are you sure? I don't think that's what it's meant to be. No, it's what he thought. He's like, he's convinced. The souvenir shop sign, there's a rabbit picture on it. Like, I don't think Heather has a fear of that. Which game is better, Silent Hill 1 or 3? Uh, I would say 3. 1 is like, 1, though, 1 is very good for what it is. But Silent Hill 2 is like, you know, the goat. A box of cookies and chocolates on display. I love this kind of stuff, but I don't feel like eating it here and now. I've gotta watch the weight. Never thought I'd say normal in a place like this. Walking ick. Yeah, I think I looked up what that thing is on the wiki once before, but I kind of forgot. I mean, I can see what. Well, yeah, there, a lot of the enemies in this game, a lot of the, this game's theme is on like motherhood and abortion and women's bodies and stuff. So I can see why you might think that, but I don't think it's correct. Row of shirts. 
I think it maybe he had the fear of tambons. Just like bloodstains. Disgusting. Is there anything actually in this store? Sorry, if you're online, no, you're good. Don't worry about it. What would be your Silent Hill landscape jokey answers only? My, some, my, what would Silent Hill be for me? Mm, like I said, one of the biggest like life-threatening scares I ever had was almost being mauled by dogs. Uh, it came close to being like just mauled to death by a pack of dogs once. So that might be in there. Though I don't really have a fear of dogs. I still I love dogs. So I don't know. Uh, I almost like I came close to like falling into like very deep water once too, so drowning possibly. All right, I guess there's nothing in here. Let's leave. It's just like candy store. Yeah, controlling with the with the mouse is interesting. That's for sure. That's a, that's a gonna be an experience. Rule of Rose. I actually plan to play Rule of Rose, but I'm not going to buy an actual copy of it. I'll use my Pakistani GameCube to play that one. What do I consider the Mount Rushmore survival here? Franchises? If we're talking about like franchises that are like the biggest horror franchise in gaming, that's undeniably Resident Evil. Silent Hill has never come close to Resident Evil in terms of sales. is broken. Mm -hmm. Silent Hill, yeah, Silent Hill is iconic, but Resident Evil just like it's always been the bigger franchise. line here today, I see. Chat, 90% of this game is a freaking audio design being just fucking genius. I can't even hear. No, I'm not looking at that shit. Perhaps he's Uzi. There's no reason to fight any of this. Sounds like a glitching. It's meant to sound like just it's like machinery. That's like. Here, here's a fundamental part of why Silent Hill's music is scary. One of the most scariest things you can ever see coming at you is an out of control machine that's broken and you can't stop or get out of the way of. And that's what a lot of its audio is like designed to like make you feel like something that isn't human and can't be reasoned with and doesn't even like technically even see you or care. It's just like a machine almost. And that is why it's like all industrial sounds. It just sounds like think of like uh of like a I don't know, think of like a, a what's a what's a scary machine? Think of like a compacting machine that is like all of a sudden moving around and coming toward you. <laughs> you can't shut it off. Oh, you can save me, tell me what? Trash combat, yeah. <clears throat> no, here we go. CNC mills. They're not normally scary, but if one ever goes crazy and catches your sleeve in it, you're terrified. Eternal Darkness, yeah, I plan to play Eternal Darkness again soon as well. No, don't don't fall off. I gotta make this work properly. Oh, no, no, no. No, stop. Stop. Gotta get the cutscene, you know? 
You know, there's an actual wooden roller coaster not too far from me. They actually do look kind of scary looking to be on them. Is this a film grain filter? Yeah, they use film grain to make give it that gritty look. Mood. Was Dead Space 2 better than Dead Space 1? Yes. <clears throat> That's a great shot, by the way, with the blinding the light from the blinds. Putting bars on her chat to make it your know, subtle way of saying she's imprisoned by her own mind, perhaps. Or maybe I'm just being really, like, literature gay right now. Like, they're just blinds and lighting, Dargan. Not everything is, you know, prison bars. She did, no, she fine. She hit the mall. Like the emptiest mall ever. <laughs> Dad, it's me. Yeah. Sorry I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. I was wondering, what did he want her to get her? What was she there at the mall to get? Okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. <laughs> what? Good evening. What's up, William? To speak with you. My name is Douglas Carter. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. By the way, can you guys hear the audio of this pretty well? Douglas. This is a Douglas looking kind of guy, ain't he? There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No, half an hour of your time. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. I like how he's like a detective, but he even dresses like his job is detective. Like this is this is how a detective dress. <laughs> so I want to point out a few things here that you'll know, make that scene really good and still stand out in my memory all these days, like years later. That is like a master class on how to like put together a, like the intro for a female character in a game. Because uh, it gets across several things without being obnoxious. It puts, it gives you the, you know, the information that one, she's conflicted and haunted by these dreams she's having, and also she's also pretty tough because she found this creepy guy following her, and she did confront him, but she also then instead of like just like judo flipping him like a Disney movie would have its protagonist do, she actually just did what actually normal women would do to get away from a creep: go into the women's restroom, which is where he can't follow. Well, you couldn't follow there in the 2000s. But uh, it's actually really well done. It's like she's being like silly by talking to her dad. So you get like a lot of like character packed into like just like a three minute cutscene. <clears throat> so I've always really liked that opening. Wouldn't work today. Well, no, there's still like, you know, there's still like restrooms. Music is overpowering your voice a bit if it wasn't intentional. It wasn't intentional. Uh, so I might need to turn it down a little bit then. Uh, but I'm assuming most of, it's, most of the game isn't loud enough. Like right now, you can hear me fine, right? 
no issues. Now, I think the PC version lets you save anywhere you want, so you don't have to like click on these anymore. The seal of the Metrotron. I talk to you a minute. Yeah, we'll talk about your birth. Yeah, that's a, that's a major red flag. In terms of video game female characters, Heather has to be one of them. Oh, I actually have said that many times that Heather is like one of my favorite female video game characters in the way they handle her. Sorry, I'm just like mesmerized by having like working mirrors back on like PS2. Go you know, for a mall. This is a really kind of crappy like restroom. You're going to have to get used to me like walking like a complete douchebag for this entire game having to use keyboard and mouse. It ain't going to be pretty. An old game? Eh, true. What is this bathroom? It's an American mall. And this ain't no major mall too. This is like small town mall. Also, can you guys, do I need to turn the audio down? Now's a good test. Can you hear me fine over this guitar theme? road is blocked with empty boxes and stuff. I can't get through. There's also a fence over there. <laughs> strip mall? Yeah. Well, bigger than a strip mall. It's like small town community mall. Now that's a good shot just by being, you know what? Chad, we need to we need to return to like just having like less graphics, better artistry in using those graphics. I like this a lot more than I you know any Unreal Engine 5 game I've seen. It's like you know it's like this really long freaking corridor, red at the end. Art direction, baby, it sells. Music is a ladder, right? I'll fix it. Because there is louder music in game than this. Alright, we'll try... What about now? Can you hear me pretty good over it? Music still loud? Good art direction usually ages better. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why Wind Waker... You can still go and look at Wind Waker and it still looks magnificent even now. Versus something like, say, Twilight Sword. Uh, that came out after it. Where's the porn tab? You think I actually would keep a tab for that? This guy is like possibly violating fire code. That's helpful. Maybe I should walk around it. Never mind. I think tomorrow I will install that program that allows me to use controller support. This is a little difficult. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory still has one of the best lighting and reflections for a game of its time. I do remember being impressed visually by that game. There's a lot of stuff posted up here, but nothing useful. Soundtrack is definitely hitting its target demographic. <laughs> what, people who like developed their music tastes in the 2000s? Resident Evil Remake still looks amazing with its... Yeah, I, I agree. Resident Evil Remake, which I just played, does look very good. It's the camera angles that help sell it too. I guess I'm just gonna... I'm on like a bent of like 2000s horror games. I'm thinking of playing Eternal Darkness soon. <laughs> Maybe even after this. But then again, I got Stellar Blade coming up, so I might want to, like, hold off. Rule of Rose. Yeah, actually, I wouldn't mind trying those out. Haunting Grand Rule of Rose, since I've never played those. Did you watch the Beard 
uh, did I watch the Birdman video about me? Uh, I try not to watch videos about me. Uh, just because I'm, I'm perfectly fine if someone wants to make fun of me. Hey, knock yourself out. Especially if you got good jokes, might as well tell them. Uh, but I, I actively try to avoid watching anything about me because I'll just be too embarrassed. Uh, so I have not. But I hope they did a good job, whatever it was. Whether it was, like, positive or negative. Do you play Slay the Spy- Slay the Princess? I don't know what that is. Lock is broken, I can't open the door. Eternal Darkness can all be played through emulation? Yes. Unless you have a GameCube. Which I don't have. I have well, I have my Pakistani GameCube. Which can play anything. We don't play- we don't use emulators on this channel. We use the Pakistani GameCube. Whole different beast. Hey, I got- have a good night, man. I'm a stand-up guy. You know what? Someone's got to set, like, a standard for the world these days. Rule of Rose is a torturous experience. I've played worse, trust me. Who leaves a gun on the floor? Probably that dude, I guess. Sucked his face right off. Stay back. Get the hell away from me. Angela from Sun. They use Angela's model for that. What the hell is this thing? Gun Jimmy. I think she just ran out of ammo. Yep, see zero bullets. It's definitely not human. I've never heard of such an animal. In no way is it a costume. It sounds crazy when you say it, but monster is the only word for it. But I don't think I'm crazy. Uh, whoever's leaving, uh, Jazzy, or whoever's leaving, uh, maybe you're saying bye to someone else, but hey, whoever's leaving, have a good one. Have a good one. Leave the confirmed that the makers be Angela. They probably just use their model, yeah. I mean, they use, uh, they do that with models a lot if they can hide the face. Like, uh, I think they use James's model a lot back in Silent Hill 2 for a lot of corpses as well. It kind of works psychologically in there since he did, like, want to die and punish himself, so maybe just seeing his body everywhere li like that was part of it. Not that I hate clothes, but this isn't the time or place. But it'll look good on you. Look, it's polka dot. And this one even better. That's that's gonna be perfect for you. Shock Dardigan didn't do the Konami code to get creepy Douglas in his boxer. <laughs> He's creepy enough without him, alright? Hold on, let me check the body. We sell bullets in this fashion store. I can tell from here that it's dead. Should I call the police? Not like they'd believe me if I said someone's been killed by a monster. Yeah, so just leave the body there, girl. That's how it works. They yeah, have can't report that to the police, they'll never believe me. It's, well, you know what? She didn't know it's gender. She's being careful. So I need to, uh, how do I reload in this game? There we go. 
but the monster's body is there too. Look, look, maybe just it's too destroyed and like mutilated to tell if it's human anymore. Something about this face is a little creepy. It's not like the phone will work for her anyways. Lock is broken. I'd open the door. These streams might be the first time I'll see these games to the end because I haven't been able to do it yourself. You know what? Not everyone's good, you know, deal with the horror games. Like, I'm like immune to them, but for other people, it can be a hard time. How's FF7 Rebirth vid? I am halfway, around almost halfway through editing the video together. It's like 450 sins and I'm near 200 as of tonight. So I'll be over halfway by tomorrow. Uh, I'm. De it may be that that video does not have captions. I don't know. I may forego putting captions into it. Because it's going to be a long video. What a shopping mall. I've seen bigger. Seen bigger. Uh, hold on a second. I got a message. Oof. What a shopping mall. Alright, let me respond to this real quick. Hmm. I'm great with horror usually, it's just these specific games uh, that I can't get through because they rocket my heart rate way too high. That's understandable. Push the button, but the elevator won't come. Is it broken or something? Heather is so curious about the world. Did you see Eurogamer saying that FF7 Rebirth is underperforming? Uh... What, in terms of sales? I think it's still sold like a several million, but I don't really care if a game underperforms or not. It's they're already like they're already like locked in to making a third game, so it'd be kind of weird to end it down. But I think it's just like one, Square Enix always has unrealistic expectations for how much their games will sell. They're never satisfied with selling millions of copies. And also remake came out during the the beginning of the pandemic when everyone had to stay home. So they had like perfect timing for that game to sell big. You're going to start entering into H-Bomber territory? What do you mean? I'm going to start doing, like, expose videos on people? The lock is broken. Hey, it's you. <laughs> now that I'm playing this on PC, I can actually see this poster. Chat. She doesn't wreck it. Oh, well, that's the, it's the previous game, not you. Sun Hill 3. Game's exclusive and people are... Well, yeah, it's also, yeah, it is... Square Enix has this weird deal with Sony. I guess Sony's helping paying for the development, so they have to keep it exclusive for a while, but, you know, multi-platform and also sell more copies. 3.5 million in three days for 16, 3 million around six days of rebirth, around 2 million for uh, after release. Yeah, like I said, I, I think they're fine. They're probably fine with it. It's probably people on YouTube trying to make an agenda out of like sales. Here's one thing I don't ever do. I don't really give a shit how the sales of a game do for, for the most part. I'm never going to make a video like this game's getting crushed. Gamers are angry. Gamers, they're angry. They're not buying your shit. Oh god, just don't watch me anymore if I ever start releasing that kind of content. It's like, let me tell you how gamers rise up. Like, okay. You, you tell me all about the sales and analysis you, you have here. Is it, is it like big number good? Little smaller number bad. Who's having more difficulty walking, me or this thing? <laughs> Looks 
expect Rebirth sells Rocket when the game comes out on PC. Well, it'll probably sell definitely another million or two copies on PC. That's for, I think, like, Remake did that. Game sold less than COD, it must fail. That is kind of, sadly, you know, Square Enix's, like, line of thinking for a lot of things. Did we, did we sell 10 million copies? If not, what a, what a waste of money. Hmm. Just a second, answering a text real quick. Ooh. Mm hmm. What is the map button? M? Yeah. Lock is broken. Can't open that. Chat is now safe and secure. Why? Is it got this ferret cop thing again? You know what? I'm the one who keeps it. Yo, why, why are you always giving the credit of ferret cop? The mod team and me that keeps it like a nice place. Since we're playing Silent Hill 3 now, are you planning on a Silent Hill 2 video? Well, I'm going to be doing Silent Hill 2 remake when that comes out. So, yes, that. As for, like, sending Silent Hill 2 or OG? Uh, possibly, though that would be a classic sin. Oh. Can you maybe have a different sound effect to play for it's, like, arf, arf stuff? Saying. A lot of stuff, but none of it looks really use useful. No, there's jerky. And feed that to the dogs and not waste bullets on them, but that which I'll never do. Shame, old yeller. That, that, that ain't, wasn't one, wasn't old, wasn't yellow. I'm definitely going to be installing the program that lets me use controller support tomorrow, though. This is really difficult to play. Hmm. Something's fallen between the table and the floor. I think it might be a key. My arms were a little longer. I might be able to reach it. There's a huge pile of cardboard box on the table, full of books. It's way too much of a pain to move something that heavy. I might die here, and the key is right there. Too much of a pain to move these boxes. Girl, you're, you're being a little lazy, not gonna lie. Why does it seem so familiar? I read about it in that book. No, that's not it. It's not the- this game even makes the save sigil, sigil into can, canonical storytelling. It's from the altar. Altar? What am I thinking? Switch time me up for anyone else. I had to refresh the site at least five times already. Uh, I'm not noticing any drop frames. It doesn't look like, so no one else has said anything. But you never know. You never know with these streaming platforms what they'll do to you. Must be on your end, yeah. Sometimes it'll be that. Twitch app. I still amazes me there are people who use the Twitch app. You know what the Twitch app is for me, chat? For when my power goes down in the middle of a stream, I can like get on and tell everyone my power went off. That is all I ever use it for. Been wanting to play this game series on having to pay crazy money. Uh, well, hey, you can play this technically for free right now. 
This, this game is essentially abandoned where you can't buy it anywhere. You know, so might as well. I know there's like an HD version they released on PS3, but it's Garbo. Garbo. You have rage bait in chat? I have rage bait. Who'd be raging? Well, if it's rage bait, they're trying to get me to rage. It ain't gonna happen. I am like calm as like a spring river. I don't know why spring said that. Spring, what? Well, spring rivers can be uncalm. I am as calm as like a capybara uh, being fed uh, lemons. Why are you playing as a teenager with a gun trying to open doors nowadays? That's really so. What? No, she's like trying to get out of the mall. It's normal for a teenager. You don't like to run very much? I can't really run effectively because I'm playing this with keyboard and mouse. A little difficult to turn around. Ooh, bread. Helen's Bakery. Crispy toasted bread right to your very door. Everything on sale. There's a flyer. Crispy toasted bread. Mm-hmm. It's bread. <laughs> Not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. One of the best, like, flavor text descriptions of anything in any video game ever. Bread. Uh, Dual Spectrum, $5 Super Chat. Thanks for making the uh, the drives home entertaining. Oh, well, hey. Dri continue driving home safely, my man. Make it home to your family of friends. And I'll still be here for you. But thank you for the $5, too. Will you take the tongs? Keyboard and mouse, I know, the horror, right? It's just that this game on PC doesn't support controller. And I had if I want to do that, I have to you know download a third party app that'll force it to. And I might do that. But not tonight. Will I play and stream Fallout London? Is it, I'm assuming that's like a mod of Fallout 4 or something. I leave. I need to go back and use the tongs. Lisa, yeah, I, I'm not a Fallout dude. Put it simply, I maybe will be playing Oblivion this year though. Uh, since the Starfield video did so well, I'm now kind of inspired to make another like Todd Slop game. Todd Slop game. Uh, so I may do that. May, you know, play Oblivion chat. And what's more, I'm going to be brave, and when I play it, it'll be unmodded Oblivion. Think about that. Unmodded, original, raw dog Oblivion. Some people say it can't be done. Some people are like, why would you, why would you do that? Why, why would you, like, raw dog Oblivion? And I'm like, because I'm a man. And sometimes a man's got to do what the rest of the world won't. <laughs> And also, if I'm going to make a sim video on it, it can't be using mods. Can't get them. Yeah, the glitches are part of the, you know, the, the charm. You've got the key taken with tongs. That is its name now. Key taken with tongs. It went twice. Yeah, let, let us not bother wasting ammo on these. the key, but I don't think it's for any of the doors here.
Look at those little, they're kind of cute, honestly. I could see myself having a plushie in one of those. Get in there. What's with the donkey sounds in the background? It's meant to be scary. And it's, you know, it's like, Tenly, it's like donkey sounds. It is. <coughs> Speaking of donkey, I'm starting to sound like one. It is like industrial sounds. <coughs> there are magazines on the shelf. Some of them look interesting, but it's really not the time for that. This girl's got priorities. You've got Shakespeare Anthology 1. 4, 2, 3, 5. It's a box set. And what's the difficulty? Normal difficulty? Normal puzzle difficulty. Should I just line up the books I picked up on the floor? Where on the shelf will you place the book? Okay, okay, okay. Four zero seven eight. <clears throat> Is this game giving you godly four eighty eighty? A run for its money? Uh, not quite. Wait, it ain't gonna be challenging it too much. What new versions of Maximo, Sphinx, and the Cursed Mummy, Beautiful Joe? Uh, you, you making demands over there, aren't we? <laughs> I don't think Capcom's gonna be doing all that for you. Uh, hold on a sec, I need to fix this real quick. There we go. Yeah, you can see the file folder, I know. I have to use window capture for it. All right, 40, 40, 78, and we're good. Silent Hill 3 runs on a 40. I mean, you can, this, I think this is actually a very CPU heavy game rather than like GPU. Fair is foul, and foul is fair. Put these books out of order. Hmm. CPU heavy, yeah. Some older PC games are like more on CPU. Oh, it was like 48, what was it, 40, 78? 40, 78. Unlocked. Is that actually Macbeth? Speaking of a character, it looks like she's Shakespearean. Um, hey, wait, what's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? They have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am close. Lady, you know, you, you so know that no shoes equals no service, right? Why are you barefoot? And your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudio, right? Did you do all this? was the hand of God. 
Okay, that's a creepy zone. Separate. She's getting those Genova flashbacks. Happens to every main character these days. Do I still not have this fixed? Come on, there we go. Now it's fixed. I'm waiting, Cloud. How many times do you think that I him say that line? I'm waiting, Cloud. My DoorDash is 13 minutes late. Power is maxing out the BGM. <laughs> I have the power over the game settings, Heather. Would you like me to turn contrast all the way up to maximum? Give you a taste of the true power of our Lord? Even brightness can be used, used against you. <laughs> Walk like a douchebag, this tire game. Legend of Dragoon for the win. It, it hasn't aged that well, I'll be honest with you, that RPG. Can I just mention how, like, Silent Hill having all these stupid locked doors you can't even ever get into? Always kind of feels infuriating. <laughs> like, make sure you check everyone. That's the wind dance. Yeah. Shouldn't I have got a melee weapon by now? I don't remember hitting any button on this elevator. Okay, we got the gun and now the radio just drops out of like the heel from God. Normal for that to happen. Radio, what the hell is this doing falling down from the ceiling? Anyway, I guess that explains the static from just before. Like, come on game, give it- <laughs> There should at least be a reason why that was there. You can't just rely on like, oh, it's Silent Hill, it's spooky, anything can happen here. Uh, come on, we need some context. Well, it's picking up static, I wonder if it's broken. Brad Wife, Shauna, and Anal Goddess, Pyromania, Legend of Dragon with some fun screen. <laughs> True. Uh, it did have a lot of like traditional family values in it. Silent Hill Magic, though. Yeah, but Magic still needs context for it to, like, actually be impressive. Oh, didn't know. I think that's a character there, that guy we're seeing, right? This is a very Jacob's Ladder style scene, by the way. Hold on, got a text I gotta respond to.
All right. <clears throat> Volat Volatil, yeah, he's like uh, one of the gods. Oh, hello, doggy. Hello, doggy. Actually, what's my health at? Uh, status is... Chad, what does this say about my status? It's status would be looking clear, dog. I'm assuming it'd be like flashing red if I were in bad shape. This, this is not a good UI. I just want to point out this is a terrible UI. <laughs> Serious munching going on over there. Where's Sephiroth? You know what? Considering how Lovecraftian Genova is, you could make more horror elements built into Final Fantasy. Actually, you know what I think about it? In the third game, when they go to the Northern Crater, they should like go crazy with that and make it like full-on Mountains of Madness kind of stuff. Because Genova is is like a Lovecraftian horror that showed up one day. Why not? to you? Does the power of friendship uh, work with horror? Generally, no. Your friends get killed. Honestly, should make a standalone FF7 horror game about Genova. Yeah, they can make it like a prequel with like the old Cetra fighting it off or something. being super generous with the health drinks, aren't they? <laughs> I remember this game being harder than Silent Hill 2 as well. Uh, uh, my thoughts exactly. I've been wanting them to make that sort of game for years. Like I said, it, since they like seem like they're rethinking a lot of FF7, uh, Northern Crater, they should just make it like full-on Lovecraftian, Mountains of Madness kind of like map. That's what I would do with it. I think the inspiration here is more prisoner with the evil, inescapable area filled with hallucinogens where your mind gets fucked until you break down and reveal everything. Hmm. This again? Looking at it makes my head hurt, but at the same time, it's like so familiar. I know I've forgotten something really important. But also I had the feeling that I'd be better off not remembering it. Did you see the look of sheer sadness on Todd Howard's face? I don't think that that was sadness you saw on his face. I think he knew Starfield was not going to win anything. <laughs> He's not a dumb man. He wasn't like, yeah, you know, it's going to clean up here at the Game Awards. I don't think any of his games have ever won a Game Award. But that's mainly because during the, the existence of the Game Awards, I don't know if he's released any new games. Uh, Lord X Rush just gifted 20 more memberships to the, the chat. Uh, thank you, my man. And if any of you got yourself a membership, give him a pat on the back. Hustle his hair, he'll love it. Gifties? Yeah, that, yeah more gifties. Uh, but a big thanks to you, man. Hopefully you feel like you're getting your money's worth. I don't know if I can bring like the old that kind of, that caliber of jokes for that kind of price. I'm like a three dollar joke kind of guy. He's won a couple of BAFTAs, eh, yeah, but you know that's a different kind of award. It's not as prestigious as that their game award from Jeff Keeley. That, that that one goes right up on your mantle place, you know. Show that one off to the grandkids. So, uh, from that hallway up there. Uh, uh, I 
I bet he's friendly. Maybe I could use the, the beef jerky. I don't think I've ever tried using the beef jerky before. Snap into a slim jam. Oh, yeah. Honestly, this is what I would think Macho Man Randy Savage eating would sound like. It's like. Also, Slim Jims are fucking gross. I was gonna say, I hate the smell of a Slim Jim. I don't know how anyone else can stomach them. It's like, this is not what meat is supposed to smell like. This is like a chemistry experiment being sold as meat product. Like this is not sound like an average dog. This this is what average dogs sound to you. Something wrong with your dog. Oh, this is a waste to come down here. Slim Jim character was the original Dave Mira BMX game. Yeah, let's just like not bother trying to kill it. Bye, doggy. Yeah, so we checked out that entire area. Hmm. You don't, yeah, we don't have the flashlight yet. We get that in a little bit. They give it to you piece by piece here. You got nothing on me, bitch. I played like Faith. Oof, ow, okay. Heather, can you get up? Oh, there's another- oh shit! Whoopsies. I didn't know there was another one coming up behind me. Oh yeah, but wait a minute. Yeah, I don't think I got this last on my playthrough. saved. Why is that thing looking up her skirt? I don't think that thing has any, any interest in anything in her body other than like her womb. <laughs> Based on the plot of this game, so. You might not be too far off. Alright, since we know everything in this hallway is a waste of time, we're not going to bother going back down there. Uh, in shock for the gift. Dory's in such a shock for the gifts of Lord Rush that he died. Yes, that's my excuse. I was overcome with, like, so much generosity. <laughs> Forgot how to play the game. Isn't it canon that he revives her? I believe so, yeah. No, 
what? Let's not kill these. There's way too many of them. Be sure to turn out the lights, it will be obvious if they are not switched off. I'm sorry, did they use Comic Sans on their warning poster? <laughs> I'm sorry, if you use Comic Sans on a warning poster, you're, you're promising me hilarity, not impending death. Well, at least it made sense like where we get the flashlight at. Alright, let's save. Alright, so where am I? Okay, we ran over here. There's a phone booth over there, but we got all this other stuff. Graphic design is your passion. Me too, brother. But I can only draw stick figures. And I, th I'm afraid the world just isn't ready for my genius. Fuck's sake. A lot of these things here today, aren't they? Oof. We've made it back to this room. Love the contrast between Resident Evil and Silent Hill protagonists. In Resident Evil, they're basically superheroes, but in Silent Hill, they're ordinary people. Without any combat experience. That's the idea. But that, I think that was always just like. Konami's excuse for why the combat system kind of sucked more so than with you know there's regular people I mean it's true they were uh, but even for regular people they are usually pretty terrible at defending themselves all right uh, I'm still doing pretty well I think I've got a pretty amount of, good amount of ammo though uh, but where am I Homecoming happened with a shitty soldier boy. Well, he, that game still sucks, so no one really cares. Must have been the wind. You got a bulletproof vest. Wait, is I'm supposed to be getting that here? <laughs> uh, should protect against monster attacks. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> getting tooled up, aren't you, Heather? Silent Hill is being generous to her. Gave her, like, the... Everything she needs, like a gun on the floor, radio falling from the ceiling, now a freaking flak jacket. Are you playing with mods? I am not. Well, I am play, play, some mods though that you know, they just clean up the errors of the game, like you know bugs and stuff, because this is the PC version. You run slower with the vest. Uh, you know what? That might be a good thing since it's kind of hard to control with PC and mouse. But I'm not playing with mods that change the gameplay any. Hmm. Let's see. While we're all here creeping ourselves out, what do you think of ghosts? Have you ever experienced something paranormal or uncanny that you could not explain? I have not. I don't really believe in ghosts or anything supernatural. My mom claims to have seen a ghost, though. She claimed it, like, walked in, like, she was sitting in the kitchen and, like, walked into the kitchen and, like, went behind the refrigerator. And there was, like, no way a person could fit back there. 
And she has sworn that ever since I am a kid and she's stuck to her story. So she's been consistent with it. But I myself have never seen anything I would say is supernatural. Do I stream on YouTube now? Is Twitch's algorithm running you off? I'm streaming on both actually. So this is this is live on Twitch and on YouTube. And I'm well doing pretty well actually on both. Thank you for like, keeping my numbers high on both uh, channels, chat. Oh, dog, oh, dog. So no, I'm just like double dipping. It's like, uh, oh, oh, I'm going to get eaten. Terrible, terrible place. Is this P PS2 or this is a PC? It's one of the reasons me controlling it looks so awkward. Okay, that's blocked off, so it has to be somewhere else over there. How oh, the flashlight attracts monsters? Yeah, it's easier to run around than anything else, though. Uh, yeah, okay, I in the, okay that room I was in was where I was supposed to go. There's like another door that I could have gone through. It takes me over to the other side. Heather and Ashley look kind of similar. Oh, they're just like blondes. So technically, Heather here is not a natural blonde. But she does know that blondes have more fun. Uh, you saw a man dressed as a police officer in your dad's house and went back to sleep. I woke up and asked his girlfriend. There was a cop in the house and described it to the T. He pulled a picture from the back of the shelf and it was him. It was her dad who passed away. He never went back to his house. See, that's that's a pretty good ghost story. I mean, I just think you were dreaming probably, but you know what? Still spooky. Not gonna lie. Heather is a reincarnation. Uh, yeah. It's actually a theme of this game that she's had three birthdays. Three birthdays. Lock is broken, can't open this. Oh shit, that wasn't where I go. Even the wrong button. It's like in my need. Hmm. Okay then. What was that sound I heard when I walked in this room? The coat hanger, yes. Wire coat hanger I got at the boutique. Which of the three has the detective dude at the beginning talking about? That's this one. He's a somewhat important character in like the Silent Hill. You know, he, he's like the guy who, technically that detective guy is the one who brings down the cult eventually by writing a book about them. I don't think this is what I do, but I will check. Does anyone else like to fall asleep to scary animated stories at night? Just you? I think I think just you. Pretty sure the of the people who like that. It's you you in a small group. Usually people prefer the opposite. Okay, let me figure out my course. Where am I going? Uh I didn't try. There's a bathroom I didn't try. The women's, but I can't see that actually helping me any. <clears throat> but lack of anywhere else to go, might as well.
Hmm. That might be the the upstairs. Be safe, because I don't want to die to these things again. Game goes eerily quiet to loud as fuck. Uh, yeah. But I kind of like that juxtaposition. Because the when they does get scary, it's like good. The music, anyways. got bleach gonna need that is someone actually in there oof oof that's not what you want to see in the public restroom How many times have... Not to this degree. However, I have come across a bloody toilet in a public restroom before. Have you ever played Amnesia? I've played Amnesia and uh, Amnesia the Bunker. It's soaking with blood, but there's no one here. Did someone respond or is it just me? That's happened to me before... At the toilet, bowel issues. Uh, yeah, if you're bleeding from that, you might want to definitely get a good check. It's probably, hopefully, usually, and that's usually just like, like a hemorrhoid that's popped, I'd imagine. That's what I assumed when I saw it as well. It's like someone popped a hemorrhoid in there. It's full of filthy, muddy water. Looks like something stop, looks like something stopping it up. Will you remove the blockage? Why, yes. Get it. This is way too gross. Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? I feel she's looking at me. No, no, she's looking at James. She's looking at James, who actually did that. However, James had no problem sticking his hands into lots of gross holes in that game. No. I'm not getting any clothes. It might be an item you need. <laughs> like, I like to think in canon, there's like an item in there that would like in the game for her right now, but she refuses to grab it because it's in the toilet. She was right. Yeah, she was referencing James. I know. That's why she even also looks directly at the camera when she says it to make it obvious. This is the bathroom we climbed out of, wasn't it? Yeah. Use the coat hanger on what? Oh, you're right. I guess I could try using the coat hanger on that. Nope, it's not how that works. We gotta find something else to like use the coating air with. Combine it with the, the bleach. <laughs> no, that's just like a little bit of joke. It's not an actual puzzle. I did forget to turn of the lights, though. Not that I needed to. But I thought maybe it'd make something sparkle. There's 
swam my head. Turned around again. God damn you, Cam Ringles. Hey, can you like... This, you're making this awkward for the both of us, alright? There we go. Juked. Alright, uh... Hmm. Now, which way, though? This is, this is me trying my best to control this character <laughs> with a keyboard and mouse and I just got like a group, an entire party behind me now. Let's <laughs> just like get him to like despawn for a second. That's a little much for me to deal with. Also, we might need to heal. Skibbity. This is the true Skibbity chat. You've all known it for a while now. No, I should stop that recording and start a new one. Code hanger and inventory. Subtle? Well, yes. It actually is kind of subtle because you normally aren't thinking of, like, all the various horrible uses of a code hanger. It's only after you learn the game's the the old plot and, like, themes that you like, oh, on second playthrough, you're like, oh, I see what they're going for with that. This looks like oh. oh. Thank you, helpful Cam Wrangle. <laughs> What's up, Dread Millennia? How you doing? Hmm. Okay, I don't think use that. That isn't clearly isn't how it works, right? What compelled me to play this? Because I want to make a video on it at some point, and my footage of it from a few years ago didn't capture correctly. Yeah, I know I gotta get up there game, but I'm looking for a way to, like, pull something over to do it. You can probably get something else first. Code hanger I tried, but you need something. I think you gotta unwrap the code hanger first. Or not. Ladder is hanging halfway down from the ceiling. Even if I stand on the table and stretch my hands out, I can't reach it. Well, yeah, it's something okay, maybe I do. Maybe I should walk back to what I do. Do I collect it all? Uh, I'm not really much of a collector, honestly. I think that's due to, like, in the past when I did try collecting stuff as a kid, I always ended up kind of, like, losing it or having it taken from me. So I just kind of gave up on the idea of collecting things eventually. Uh, I used to, I guess books would be, like, the only thing I might be considered a collector of, but that's just me keeping books and not getting rid of them. Here we are. Why would something like this be here? This isn't a hospital. Makes you think, doesn't it, Heather? Makes you think. And that other room was like a classroom. Are you still planning on releasing a bully video eventually? Yes. 
Uh, I'm not sure when though, because uh, I would like to do some GTA videos now that we have an idea of when GTA 6 is coming out. Uh, so eventually I want to do like cover Grand Theft Auto 3 through 5 and then 6, then Red Dead Redemption 1 and also Bully. And even the DLC for Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption. Vice City, however, uh, yeah, G Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City would be classic sins, though. The rest of them, though, go up on the main channel. So can I... Uh, I can get rid of a few. Get rid of a few what? Uh, I know that game finally started reading my library, yeah. Are you an avid book reader? Uh, I haven't really read much recently, but I do like to read, yeah. That's one of the reasons I can do what I do, which is pick apart a plot. Because I read all the time as a kid. I'm sorry, but if these things actually hit you, it would not hurt. They're too spongy. There's nothing to actually, like, do the damage. This is like being attacked by your plushie. You need some teeth, the claws, to really do the, do the, the damage, you know. What's the earliest book I remember reading? Uh... I think it was a book on dinosaurs my parents got for me and then like after that some horror books like you know those really horrible like tales of horror story books that have like drawings of like, black and white drawings of monsters and stuff in it one of those and it terrified the hell out of me uh then i think i read rats of nim it was like the first novel i ever read i'm pretty sure Like Goosebumps? No, no. Goosebumps is like not scary at all. These are like, they're, this is like a book of like horror tales for like, made for young adults and kids. But they have like these like black and white, really creepy artwork in them. And I remember like the artwork actually legitimately terrifying me as a child. Uh, so those, but then, uh, I don't remember the name of it though. Have I ever read the picture of Dorian Gray? I don't believe so, no. Scary stories that tell in the dark it might have been something i don't think it was exactly that but it was something similar to it but i don't remember the name of it sadly it's lost to me bunch of dismembered mannequins pyramid head has been here but yeah it's probably it's very similar to that i know it just had like these really creepy like drawings and i don't know something about them being in black and white really got to me i'm not sure why though Where are we on the map? We are over here. However, I think I want to... I'm going to assume everything on the outside is still blocked off. Mm. Unlocked. Used to like to sneak and read in bed as a kid and got spooked once or twice, uh, turning a page to a new drawing where I wasn't expected. I remember the most terrified I ever was actually as like a very young kid is when my older brother stuck a werewolf mask on the, you know, the bed post at the foot of the bed. And when I woke up, there's just a werewolf staring at me. I did not, I would not, I was like a deer in the headlights. I would not move for like an hour just like in laying in bed because I was like, what is this thing? Why, why, why was it looking at me? For some reason, I was child brain terrified. Also, thank you, Scott the Gamer, for your raid, man. What were you playing, my dude? What were you out there gaming on? Were you two enjoying the, you know, the smell of beef jerky? As we were tonight? Oh, 
Mm, this seems familiar. If only we had kept our coat hanger, we could get better reception. Can't see anything. I can't hear anything. What was that? I wonder. I thought I heard someone say daddy. I've definitely got, you know, tuned into like weird channels where people were saying daddy before. This is what, third floor? I don't think I want to go up here just yet. You should check out Brink of Death. It's a suspenseful murder mystery book. Very interesting. Brink of what's it about? Without spoilers. Weirdly enough, the only horror story I've read recently are like, they're not really horror, they're like horror comedies actually. Uh, it's like that series of books called like John Dies at the End and like the sequels to it. I've read like those over the past year or two. Yeah, they're all right. They're for like millennial writing, I guess. Millennial writing. How horrifying. Did you ever play Obscure? Is that the one where you're like, that's like a 2000s like movie where you're like a bunch of teenagers in high school that plants are attacking you? I own it and I briefly played it, but I've never actually played much of it. I think it was like a PS3 game originally, wasn't it? Millennial shouldn't write, but I'm a millennial and I have to write. There was a nice silver ring in here last time I came. Bummer that it's gone, huh? You got a walnut. <laughs> Why though? <laughs> Why would you pick that up? This girl wouldn't even pick up bread earlier in the game, remember? Like, oh, it's bread. I don't need that right now. Oh, but a walnut. <laughs> Give me. Thought I had that walnut. Heart healthy, I know, right? She's, you know, she's, you know, bread is too fattening. Uh, I don't really want to use the elevator yet, either. Where am I? Okay, doctor. Somehow she knew the walnut would be important, but not the bread. I still think is one of the best enemy designs Silent Hill ever had and it wasn't even used that much it was those creepy two-headed doll things that would stare that would point at you in Silent Hill 4 those things were like legitimately like what the fuck is this thing uh take pointless waste of time's advice and play a basketball game with a 10 foot tall orange Michael Jordan and try to destroy the game I'm sorry what 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 that none of that made any sense to me look the only basketball game i've ever played in my entire life was nba jam and it, so if i can't like set my my jordans on fire and then boom shakalaka i got no interest got no interest i say
Hmm, so that's one I can open if it's just locked and not broken. I don't want, any, I don't want the non-boom shakalaka game chat. I don't even know what boom shakalaka means, but I know if he dunked it hard enough, he got it. There's nothing in the dirty cardboard box. Hmm. Okay, I've been in here. When Silent Hill main characters in the world, are their physical bodies at rest? No, they're like shifting between realities. So you, you think like a case of like your, your physical bot is fine. All right, so let me check the map, see where I should go now. Okay, that's locked. Oh, that's locked. I didn't try going all the way down that one hallway. And I guess I should also go to the third floor now, though. Yep. Or we could try the elevator. I have visions of Heather shooting innocent people in the mall. They do try to make you think that's what you're doing at one point in the game, but only briefly. Did I get into the world by riding in this thing? Wonder what would happen if I gave it another whirl. I can press the button all I like, but the doors won't open. Oh well. Oh well. Dun -dun -dun, that's life. All right, so. About that book, if you miss it, it's about a murderer who is killing a town and the only witness is too traumatized to give her she he's killing an entire town. That's a, that's an impressive goal. Either that or a very small town. And do you ever wonder why all these like PS2 and PS1 horror games would give you like a rating at the end to tell you if like you got like a B or an F? Like you save the game one too many times. Like, they, they love doing that shit. Right, so, where do I want to okay, We don't want to go down there. We want to go up to the third floor, I think. Actually, what happens if I try to go down these? Oh, nothing. Uh, love your from Foreskin Williams the third. Love your two. Not the whole town, but the bodies are turning up all over. Still ambitious. Uh, but uh, hey, I like I like I like small town horror like that. I like it, even though that's a kind of like a very long, overly long book, but I liked it. Hey, can you actually come onto these so I can shoot you without you being able to fit? Yeah, I don't think you can reach me out here, can you? Oh, Brad, how much ammo do I have left? I haven't checked. I got only got 20 bullets. Better not to like be using too much. Okay. There's a joke that just entered my head that I had to literally bite my lip to keep from saying. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not going to. 
Not going to do it. Not going to make it. What is this? Barbecue dog. Thank you, Heather, for having a worse junk. Thank you. Thank you. What is this? Barbecue dog? Laugh track engaged. Who the hell would make something like this? I've always kind of wondered that too. Who did prepare this meal? I mean, they put potatoes in like a demi-glaze sauce under it. Like everything about this looks normal except for the dead dog on it. Furthermore, who the hell would eat it? Something in the dog's stomach. I got a cooked key. Please tell us the dog. Look, it was just going to be something stupid about like certain cultures that eat dog, all right? <laughs> That's all it was. Nothing else to worry about here. Other than who the hell is sick enough to do something like this, that is. And even then, I'd really just rather not know. I brought out the fine your wine glasses for this as well. <laughs> Where's Freddy Krueger? Look, the only thing I remember about Freddy Krueger is him using the power glove once to kill somebody. He's like, don't forget the power glove! And it was stupid. It's like, uh, do you think Nintendo paid to have that advertisement or like that to be in the movie? Like, oh yes, we would like you to advertise, you know, the Super Nintendo Power Glove uh, to prospective buyers in your horror movie that is decidedly not for children. I really feel like eating and drinking stuff from an alternate reality, okay? <laughs> you picked up that walnut earlier though, didn't you, sweetie? You, why are you walking around that in your pocket? You think you're going to eat that or you just like, no, there's something in it you need? <laughs> Based. I am known for my base takes. <laughs> Dardigan Base Jones, they call me. Dardigan Skibbity Based and Dardigan Skibbity Base Jones. It's a French name, you see. Old family. Old time traditions. Just to be sure where I'm going. I'm going up. Anything in this bathroom? Okay, this is the bathroom we crawled, we climbed out of earlier, I think. Nothing in it, though. Freddy Krueger was about the middle class's anxiety about the working poor. Is it was that the actual message? Like I know a lot of horror movies come with like a message. Like Jason was all about don't fuck, or at least, yeah, don't fuck around, <laughs> especially at camp. Or don't be a dick, don't bully people as well. I didn't know Freddy Krueger was like, man, the poor fucking suck. <laughs> What was, uh, so was, uh, would Halloween's be like, don't, you'll, actually, yeah, what would Halloween's be? Kill evil children before they've grown into adults? Don't, you know, don't, I don't know, that, not everything can have a proper message, all right? All right, this was nothing here. these jukes chat. I can't handle the jukes. Uh, but which way am I going? I am gonna go this way. The door has a red crescent and a round dent. Something's written there in the same... I can't read with these things. Gonna have to kill you. Gonna have to kill you. Not you though. You're, you're being a good doggo and eating. So what's my health at? I just do a hit into the back of the head. Hmm. Did a pack of your TV for a move? Oh, was it like a really old TV though? Like CRT or he's like... Because if you're just packing like a regular like your LCD, I'm not impressed. Oh, 
people reach the reach he's giving me the COVID this is actually what a lot of like conspiracy theorists think like getting a COVID you know, <laughs> immunization was like I bet that and I'm gonna die in three years now Oh my, am I near death? Yes. Okay, we're using a good one. Locked. Door is a red crescent and a round dent. Something's written here in the same color red. Piling up the 300th day and night from beyond the door, cries of pain are heard. After the final destination has become real, Though not a blessed beginning. Hmm. Alright, so we picked up another key. And we also have bleach. So there's nothing else we can do in here, so we need to go where? What's locked? locked door actually anywhere <laughs> gave me the COVID I look, look I've already been I've already been injected <laughs> too late for me who's munching on my tickets no hmm okay I'm not really sure where I'm going Because a squiggly line means the door is locked. Oh wait, I think it. Okay, it's on the. I think it's at one of the second floor there. There is the, the. Yeah, I think it's that one. Swiggly. Yeah, the red swiggly line I know means it's like a door that can never be open. It's broken. Give me them five hour energy drinks. You know what? This you know, Silent Hill main characters chat, they should actually die of heart attacks because they're always swigging down five hour energy drinks left and right. Like, just get me through this shit. <laughs> Make my heart beat 200 beats per minute. Get the steel pipe. Thank God we can now save on ammo. You miss being unemployed? What about it? What was so good about being unemployed? Heather needs a Red Bull. Ooh, she needs a little bit more than that Red Bull. This girl is in a full-on monster energy situation. Okay, whenever we're terrified of a new place, check the map. Uh, looks like we need to go up. Or this way. 
He, okay, okay. Don't chug energy drinks. I've actually never been a fan of energy drinks. I've had a few, but they're just like, eh, I'd just rather have like a Diet Pepsi or some shit. I don't really feel energetic after drinking one anyways. I guess I just have like, naturally a lot of like energy. So I've never really like benefited. You got detergent. Energy drinks will kill you. Is that true, though? Is that really true? I think it's just something people say. You're giving in to the propaganda. You're, you're, you're giving in to the propaganda. I mean, you probably shouldn't drink too many of them, but if you're just drinking like an energy drink every once in a while, you're fine. There's the worst things you could be drinking. I don't know what kind of switch it is, but it's on. Can you turn it off? Uh, I think I will. Boots. You're a member. Uh, this girl had a fear of insects. I'm not going any further. It's creepy and dangerous to boot. Out of air I still find it bizarre, though, that look at all the stuff I've been running past. Like, 12-foot, like, tampon monsters, two-headed dogs, uh, weird little plushy things that want to headbutt me. But, like, uh, some butterflies or, like, moss. You're like, I ain't going in there. <laughs> ain't touching that shit. There's got to be a way. I can't very well stab them one by one. Some insecticide would do the trick. Do you need chemicals? Yeah, I, I know this puzzle. I know this puzzle. It's empty. Don't you pour them in this? Hold on, let me like save my game burst. Real, real, uh, real Dardigan lore. My mom accidentally once poured bleach into t bleach and something else into like the toilet when I was a kid, and she'd like leave the house because it was like turned into like you know poisonous no ammonia, uh, chemical ammonia or whatever, and it's like you could not breathe. She got actually actually ended up getting chemical pneumonia from it. Made mustard gas. Yeah, I think it, I think it's not necessarily mustard gas, but something else, right? They still did use it in World War One though. But yeah, you can do that if you mix, like, toilet cleaner with bleach. Which is what we're about to do. There's a vent running. Oh yeah, it's right. You gotta turn the vent off. your lungs, yep. Combine the bleach, the detergent, and we kill ourselves some boogs. Don't do that, by the way. <laughs> Never do that at home. 
Guard is teaching us how to make chemical. Look, this is a very bait. I was told I learned how to do like you shouldn't mix this back in like middle school. This is very common knowledge that you you do not mix these two particular household cleaners together. You're done. You're done lurking. Hey, welcome back. You can mix gasoline and styrofoam. Yeah, make sticky gasoline, which will stick to people when you burn them for some reason. I don't know why you'd ever want to do that, though. The door is shut tight. It won't open at all. things going for G Gene Simmons? Well, is he still alive, by the way? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm an honest question, I don't know, but uh, I'm fine. Stop giving. I, Chad, does anyone. If you've ever played through this game before, did you ever make good use of the beef jerky? I know it can, like, lure the dogs away from you, but can it lure all monsters away or just the dogs? I don't think I've ever once kind of, like, used it in, like, more than once. Don't get giving lions get any more ideas for the next Jigsaw movie. Uh, uh, okay. It's not like they're putting any ideas into that as it is. <laughs> I don't think you have anything to worry about me improving it any. You only use, yeah, it's one of those like, hey, nice idea, but ain't really that useful. Maybe it's like a speed running item. You put the jerky down by this door, allows you to like sequence break by, you know, phasing right through it. I'm not ready to deal with this room yet, though. Come back to you. And then what else do we got? We got potentially some more down this way. Industrial noise. That's the sound of capitalism you hear. That's why it's so terrifying. Oh shit, it's Mr. Fleshlight again? Look, we all own one. Don't, don't, don't be embarrassed. Hmm. Who's we? Us. We all own one. Hmm. What you mean us? You cannot deny it, Chad. I know everything. <laughs> you want an Amaranth flashlight? See, look, we got an admission already in chat. And I, I just said, don't feel embarrassed. Look, sometimes you need help with things in life. <clears> hmm. <throat> All right, I'm going to say before I go in this room. Sorry, buddy, never owned a flashlight. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> That's sad. So sad. Don't worry. Don't worry. They're, they're, they're coming down in price. So poor people like yourself can afford them, too. Oh, hi. Speaking of flashlights, that, that is basically what one of those is. Ooh, don't fall to your death, please. Take it alone to the bank. I need, like, your money to get a flashlight. 
Uh, war Madam. I have been denied satisfaction for too long. Oh, what? It's like a buzzsaw mosquito. Fine, they're common in this area of the world. Thing you got yourself a girl with. Let's see. There are shackles here. They look pretty broken in. Gross. This is a lady who knows what a sex chamber looks like. In the middle of the platform is some kind of vice. Oh, yeah, we can crush some nuts in these, all right. Literally, their intended purpose. No nut in the walnut shell, just a jewel. I got a moonstone. Pattern looks like it could have been drawn in blood, but it's some sort of curse symbol. No wonder my head hurts and I feel so awful when I look at it. So busting a nut produces gems now. Good to know. You know, there's actually a manga about that very scenario. I, I sad to admit it. There is a manga out there. I, I heard about. I saw like some images posted on Reddit once about a guy who like when he gets off, he like shoots diamonds. <laughs> so like all the women are out. It's one of those like stupid, like pervy joke mangas that uh, Japan loves so much. So like all the women just want him because he's like, he'll make them rich. <laughs> Basic harem bullshit, essentially. But no, you know, one finally one with a plot that makes sense. Hey, <laughs> uh, my time. I don't know the name of it. I've never read it. I just remember like reading the synopsis of it and like seeing a few like images on our subreddit once. Not too much into like horny gag mangas. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Why am I just constantly near death? I don't remember getting hit for a while now. Alright. Alright, so... we I think the jewel opens that room on the third floor. If I'm not mistaken. Each diamond takes... I don't think... I don't think that's how that would take a year off your life. They would just be painful shooting it out. <laughs> Since it'd be like a kidney stone. Please stop the sound. Please stop that horrible sound. Uh... Okay, 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 yeah, we gotta go up to the third floor now, and I think we can put the moonstone in there, then listen to this lovely sound. Don't you love it? Loud noises are scary, you know. You never check down this way. Okay, just like another way into this area.
You guys weren't in here before. What is this nonsense? Yeah, wipe it off your shoe. <laughs> Am I going to send this? Uh, yes. However, considering this game released in 2003, it'll likely go up as a classic sin video on my upcoming Patreon, I'd imagine. Alright, now let's go through that door through the up the stairs and we're good. Uh, also, the first Silent Hill is going to be the first classic sin video. Hmm. I think that sounds more obnoxious than scary. Well, it definitely makes you not want to hear it anymore. The two things can be mutually the same thing. Kind of bad for these things, they're just meant for you to be like, oh, here's an enemy to kill with me. Like, how's my health looking? Took a few hints. I'm good. Walking wombs. I don't know what these things are, but they're not exactly threatening. Send the release of Stargazer inexplicably on Switch, a system with dozens of spear. I don't know what Stargazer is, I'm not familiar with that one, I'm afraid. be like a metal thunking sound with the lead pipe smacking the enemy in the head. Alright, there's plenty more enemies out here. What a shave. I, I, I do have like a list of games for like the Patreon to do and some of them, it's a pretty good list. I am thinking of doing some like older adventure games that were like cracked out so maybe like Harvester and like, uh, what's the name of that one? Uh, Mystery of the Druids at some point. <laughs> you need a mod of this game where the melee sound effect is that dick sound. It was a meme for four months. I'm not sure what you censored there. And which door am I going through? Oh, one right in front of me. Are you going to be games with no... Are you going... Are there going to be games with no voice acting on the list? Uh... I don't know. I don't know if there were any that... There's games of limited voice acting, but I think all of them usually have some. That I've currently put together. How's your Alan Wake 2 script going? I'm not working on Alan Wake 2 script at the moment. Right now I'm like, I'm working on the FF7 video. I played through Alan Wake 2, but I have not had a chance to do anything else beyond that on it. All right, whistle. You stuck the moonstone into the door. Am I going to send Alan Wake 2? I well, I recorded it for that very reason, so yes, eventually. It's just that it's take this, this the FF7 video is taking more, longer than I thought. I did not expect that game to be that big, but they 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 added a lot to it. <laughs> Took me a full month just to play through that game, even though I was doing five-hour long streams, and a few six-hour long streams. And it's taken me, and I'm however I am near the finish line. I am like halfway through editing the video together now, so could be out before the twentieth. That's my current working timeline for the FF7 video. All right. Final Fantasy uh, 16 was an hour and a half video. It's going to be, I'm hoping it's actually shorter than 16. I'm trying to use less game audio in the video, which will cut down on length a lot. 
Uh, but we'll see. It's like currently, I think uh, it's like nearly halfway done. Like I'm right beneath the halfway point and it's only like a little over 30 minutes long right now. So it'll definitely end up being over an hour. I'm just hoping it's like still under an hour, 30 minutes. But yeah, going to be another one of those big ones then. <laughs> And hey, if you guys like really like the Patreon idea, you'll be you'll be forcing me to do uh, that uh, that uh, that good old, good old uh, Persona Five, <laughs> and maybe even Persona Three. So if you really want to just make a man go crazy with JRPGs, you I've given you this the potential. <laughs> you could break me, Chen. Break me in ways no one else ever has. Mike, have a good night, man. All right, I think we're ready to like fight the boss now, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Sounds kinky. Well, I knew some of you would like me saying that. Break him? Yeah, I could get into that. No, stop. Stop. Don't fall. about it FF7 make more sense if, his, if it was FF8 there may or may not be a sin in my video about Sephiroth possibly ripping off Ultimecia's plan just a little uh, little hint just a little touch should probably equip the gun Have you seen the Fallout show? Nope. Have not seen it. If I'm not mistaken, this is somewhat of a reference to the bo the first boss in Sound Hill 1, isn't it? Incoming massive penis? Well, how did you know I was taking my pants off? I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's big and purple. The great juice dick. Now that's comedy. You know, I still gotta hand it to them. For what was a PS2 game, that is like good rendering. That's a penis. 
Uh, how much ammo do I have left? Plenty. I think I can take more hits too. Castrated. By the way, can I ask all the YouTube bros to hit the like button as a common courtesy? Apparently it really helps out these uh these stream bods in the future. You know what? I can tell how they managed to keep this mall so clean, it's because no one ever comes to it. And all the doors to stores are here, the boutiques are broke. Smash the like. Yeah, no one actually says smash the like and subscribe anymore, do they? Does Dart make more if we were in both streams? I don't know. Well, I only make money if, like, like usually usually streaming, you don't really make much money through ads. Uh, generally, it's usually, like, the direct, uh, the direct exchange between me and you when it comes to, like, donations or, like, subs or memberships. Uh, but YouTube might be, at least that's what way it's been on Twitch. YouTube might be a little bit different when it comes to advertising revenue because the, the stream bods do sort of okay-ish in terms, of, I guess. I'm not sure what what's good for like a stream bod view. They usually have like a couple thousand extra views on them a couple days after the stream's over. You ever been to a semi-abandoned mall? Uh, no, I have not actually. Shit surreal. Well, what do you think everyone's like, you know, going gaga crazy, shit my pants, amazing, terrified over like liminal space horror games these days? It's like, oh, have you ever been to, like, an empty place before? Holy shit, it's terrifying. Alright, I guess we don't really do much else here. Me, Goongaga. Alright, let's, let us leave. Tis a silly place. Make sure to check out the burger place for some items and save point. Where's the burger place? Burger place. Like button got mostly smashed back in 2015. Hey, but it's still there. <laughs> Some yeah, engagements, engagement. since we have ammo in our burger store. It's like you're not supposed to be there. Well, yeah, but you know what? I kind of get that feeling everywhere I go. She's in Texas. I don't think uh, Silent Hill is found in Texas. Uh, it's time to like make a new safe. Burger shop. It's American art. Look, I've been in many burger shops. I've never just come across boxes of ammo lying on a counter. You know how much a box of ammo costs? Stuff is expensive. <laughs> I just like to think that's become a thing that everyone else thinks about America. We just have like guns and ammo lying around for free. Like you know how you like you go to the dentist and you get like a free like uh, piece of candy or something if you're a kid. It's like for, for the adults they get like a free box of ammo. <laughs> like yeah, we give it out to people every day here. Normal. Heather. It's you. How did you know we would what not still happened? be here? You must be one of them. 
What did I do? And what do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Didn't this guy, wasn't this guy actually Why drunk when he was recording these lines? What happened here? Or he was sick or something, I feel. And that monster. What the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really You love my sim videos? Hey, thank you. I, I will produce many more for you. To do with me. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me... What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. Something I've been running from and forgot for a long time. Do they normally build subway stations directly into what malls? I do. Hell if I know. Also, if I if I just encountered all of this in a mall, I would not want nothing to do with. I would want to leave the mall no matter what. <laughs> Take a taxi home or something. Also, if I'm not mistaken, the the subway level is like one of the worst in the game. <laughs> Yeah, let me go to the deep, creepy underground subway after that. The grow detective guy seriously just ask a teenage girl, what should I do? <laughs> hey, look, he, he's, you know, he's like used to looking for like missing kids and like cheating spouses, not like cults and evil beyond human imagination. He's a scared, confused dude. In New York, then, yeah, in New York, I would actually like buy it, but this is not New York. This is like a smallish, kind of like mid-sized town, I think. I doubt they'd even have a subway system. So, uh, guy with the three eyes, we're not actually in Silent Hill right now. We're a few towns away from it. Uh, you're in Silent Hill for the second half of the game. Hmm. I checked the other way. You know, because of that Silent Hill movie, the first one that came out, a lot of people started believing Silent Hill is set in West Virginia, even though it looks nothing like that place. Because I think that's where the movie was set, if I'm not mistaken. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Did they use that song in the movie? They should have, but they didn't. Lock is broken, I can't open the door. You weren't in Silent Hill at all in Homecoming. No, you're in like a town that was a, a town that was well, actually, no. The very end of it, you go to Silent Hill uh, for like the final area. But for the most of the game, you're in like Shepherd's Glen, which is a town formed by former Silent Hill towns cult members. They like left. This would still need to be close to Silent Hill, right? Since its influence is clear, I'm not sure how distant you can be from Silent Hill to be influenced by it. Uh, but of uh, like I said, it definitely reaches out and like can touch places outside of Silent Hill though. Hell, Silent Hill F is going to be set in Japan. Keep that in mind. 
So maybe it can like reach all the way across the ocean. A lot of people believe the real Silent Hill is Centralia, Pennsylvania. Uh, that's what some people say it's like based off of. But Silent, the thing is, Silent Hill is based off a lot of things. That might be one of them, but it's also like literally the school of Silent Hill is based off the school from uh, Kindergarten Cop. They they watched that movie and they just like modeled it as well as they could. So like the you're like the, the, like what who is your daddy and what does he do? That that school. A bunch of other things too. Like some Hitchcock movies and everything else. It's it's got many fathers and mothers. I still remember the most controversial line of the kindergarten cop movie. That you know, you that boys have penis, girls have vagina. Cancel that kid. Cancel. Wait, isn't that Turbo Man? The you'll jingle all the way. Was all my cookies. Put the cookie down. Sorry, right, I just love that. Jacob's Ladder is depressing. Yeah, that is also a big influence on Silent Hill. Though primarily, I always felt Silent Hill 2 is the most big year. Didn't really feel much Jacob's Ladder in Silent Hill 1. Need to be on the Bergen Street train on Platform 3. I'm pretty sure this... This subway is closed for the night, girl. There ain't no one here. What is a Silent Hill Rust World? Is it actually like an alternate dimension? Uh, there's like... Uh, there's like the fog world, which is then there, there's like layers. It's like you peel back an evil onion and you get more evil as you go down each layer. Like rust world. Let's see. Like there's like the normal silent hill where everyone lives and it's just like a regular place. Then you have like the fog world, which is like full of monsters, but you can't, it's like foggy. So you can't see very far. And it's like usually only like you and a few other characters in it. that are also being like tormented by silent hill. Then you have the rust world, which is like. Uh, the next layer, which is uh, usually where there's a lot more enemies and it's just you until you get out of it by killing a boss or something. And then finally you have Nowhere, which is the beating heart of whatever is like you're meant to find. Uh, that's kind of like the, the, the layers of it anyways. Hello? You're in your mid-40s? Congrats. Alright, Pal Garden. Just go down one of them. Good morning, Darnigan. Brilliant game. Hey, I consider it to be pretty damn good. Bergen Street. By the way, isn't the guy who directed the original Silent movie returning to direct a sequel based on Silent Hill 2? Uh, they did announce that, yeah, but I don't know. I wouldn't get excited for it. <laughs> I'm not excited over anything Konami's doing right now. So far, the two things they released for Silent Hill have been pretty meh to bad. What's my favorite theme song from Silent Hill? That's got to be Silent Hill 2's Theme of Laura. That, that's just an actual jam that I can listen to at any time.
Sinchin was ass. Short message. Which, which one? Okay, which, what was a Sinchin again? Okay, Sinchin was the one that isn't even really a game, right? I've never really even looked into that. I said it was like a, you vote on stuff with your phone or something. Uh, what's up, Yo Saxer? How you doing, man? How's the gaming been? Tonight has been good. Though we've been getting lost a lot. That's what normally happens in this game. Emo Laura cooks amazingly well. Yeah, the, the original, like, weird Italian kind of sounding song from Silent Hill 1 and technically the ending of this game are also really good. Okay, I think I need to go. I was, you know, whatever. I was on the way. I was on the right track and I got turned around. Worried about what I should do. The only, like, Silent Hill thing I'm interested in right now is Silent Hill 2 Remake. Uh, just to see if they end up. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh,. I don't have high hopes, but I will give it a fair shake. I am interested in whatever Silent Hill F is, since that seems like they're taking a big departure from Silent Hill as it has been. And who knows, maybe... Apparently it's got like a really good writer behind it, so we'll see. Guard is awesome, love his voice. Hey, thank you. You should have been here earlier when I was taking requests to say shit. <laughs> I, though I, I don't think I'll ever be able to understand what people like about my voice. I guess because I'm just used to hearing it. Can I please take a map? Alright, Bergen Street. You were? Oh, okay. I have an amazing voice. Like, people tell me this, but I don't know. So I guess, I guess I'm just used to hearing it, so it just sounds normal to me. Pick up the random five Subway five-hour energy drink. We went to the wrong platform. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was going to get back up. <laughs> you got to give me at least a few seconds. They're like a warning. Ah. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Mortis. Definitely was a mortis situation. Alright, Bergen Street. Hole is decided, Darty getting gotta go. Well, I knew I was, that wasn't me getting gone. That was me knowing what was gonna happen, but I was like, hey, I, I got time to get back up, right? <laughs> Look, I didn't think she would jump off like that. I'm used to like falls. You have to like press a button to make her do it. Don't think I've heard that much panic in your voice in a long time. Well, pretty sure there's been moments here and there. I was going the wrong way there, anyways. I read this a long time ago. It's a nothing, it's a nothing little occult, it's a nothing little occult magazine? That's not correct, liter neoliteration. Seemed like a bunch of crap to me. It's not so bad if you just read it for fun, though. The souls of those who died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt that particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying the pain and sadness of the moment they died. The pain can get so bad they turn on humans for salvation, or they, begrudging, they begrudge humans their lives. At such times, they can possess humans. Places known as famous suicide spots or high accident areas are often to blame. You should be careful when approaching such locations, especially on the day or time at the time of death occurred. 
That is, if you don't want it to happen to you too. <laughs> Could have used that note a minute ago. Hey, Garrus, have a good amen. <clears throat> is this the int <clears throat> NTSC version? Uh, and your voice is loud. This is the PC version of the game, so... I don't think it has, like, a different version of that. <clears throat> this is for my voice being lovely. <laughs> I might need to get some of the drink soon. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is where I, yeah, this is where I jumped to my death a minute ago. <laughs> And we need to be on Bourbon Street. Honest thoughts on FF7 Remake. I saw the sort of uh, playthrough with Zack and Emily had so many emotions. Uh, I enjoyed the game. I don't really have any major issues with it other than it was longer than it needed to be. But I think that's going to be the overall like sin for the entire project is that it doesn't need to be as long as they've made it. Like, there was so much you could have cut out of that, or, like, not even, like, focused on, uh, to make a shorter, sweeter experience. But gameplay-wise, I enjoy it. Man, I sure do love navigating subways. Street? I don't know. Bergen Street, here we go. Hey, do I ask a bit ago, but I was curious, do you like wine at all? No, I actually don't really drink much at all. I will have like a cocktail if I'm really like at it, like a, out with a bunch of friends, but just that. I, I've tried wine and like with special events, I'm not into a drinking in general. It just never has been for me. Same with like smoking and stuff. I'm, I'm just too pure, all right? I'm just too pure. Someone has to remain like you're good and pure on this God's forsaken world. By God is me. <coughs> no, I just, I never, like, developed a taste for alcohol, I guess. How am I still on Hazel Street? I thought I was like on Bergen. Oh, wait a minute. I think we're here. We're here, Chad. There's enemies. <coughs> um. This time, yep. They only show up when you when you jump on the thing. <coughs> What's up, Aaron? How you doing, man? I'm glad I just saved. So happy I saved. All right, so ah, oh, there doesn't seem to be anything I can do here. <coughs> Subway really kind of blowing.
How's it been going for me? Well... Oh, that was a great sound, by the way. I'm doing alright. I've been working hard. <clears throat> However, I'm gonna go get something to drink real quick because my voice is a little wrecked. Right back, everyone. <coughs> Hmm. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't be choosing something carbonated, but it's what was easily on hand. <clears throat> Lionel James, uh, thank you for being here tonight, man. <clears> hmm. <throat> Hydration check. Going to get my glass, you know, fresh glass of red wine. Oh, it's my second glass of the night, in fact. <laughs> hmm. Do we actually get to visit the town of Silent Hill? Yes, it's the second half of the game using the town. Uh, let's see. I think actually, wait. If I'm not mistaken, after you leave the subway is when the the next is when the town begins. I think. What mic am I using? I use a Shure SM7B. You've seen it if you've ever seen anyone do content creation. It's that giant black microphone everyone uses, uh, because it's really good at rejecting off access noise. So it doesn't pick up room noise or out other like stuff going on in your environment, just your voice for the most part. <clears throat> it pretty much dominates the entire content creation market. Bourbon Night, oh yes, it's a very finely aged uh, malt Pepsi. Here it's very popular in certain parts of Europe. The apartment, well the apartment is very short. You go back to your apartment and have the, yeah, yeah. So that, that's basically just a boss fight in some cutscenes. Doesn't pick up annoying popping sounds. Well, it'll definitely pick, uh, well, it comes with like a pop filter. Uh, let me see. Let me take off the pop filter. Is it, it should probably sound slightly different without the pop filter on since it's like the raw, raw lips. But it's not usually advisable to use it without the pop filter. It comes with two different ones, like a thicker pop filter and like a thinner pop. I use the thick one. I got a lot of pop sounds coming out of this, this here mouth. Uh, let's see. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, voice is a little bit recovered now. You're like a slightly crispier without the pop filter. Uh, some there are people who do that. And as for like what uh, it can't. It's not just the microphone though. There's a second piece of the audio, and I use a Rodecaster Pro Two for my mixing. Pretty good, but they're pricey. My audio setup is not exactly cheap. Likes a thick. I like a thick BBM, big black microphone. Wrecking all my little holes. <laughs> Or at least one in particular. Uh, let's see. Mm, maybe a Diet Coke? Well, I'm drinking Diet Pepsi. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Coke. It's got too much bite for it for me to like. Too much of a bite for like something. Like I only drink Diet anyways, and Diet Coke is pretty nasty. Uh, Google the mic alone can be between three and six. If it's if they're charging six hundred bucks for it, that's some place ripping you off. <laughs> it should be no more than four hundred. When I then again, maybe they've raised the price because everyone buys them now for like YouTube and streaming, and that's because that's become a big thing a lot of people get into. Uh, but when I bought mine, I think it was like three fifty or something. <clears throat> Am I reading anything currently? I do have some books to read, but I haven't gotten a chance to read them yet. Uh, like I got uh, like a, uh, some, like a horror manga to read two of them actually. And then I have the altered carbon series to read through. I've only read through book one. And then I have a Stephen King, like the first Stephen King book I've bought in years to read through. Uh, so I got, I got a few, I just haven't had time this year so far. Only thing I've re I've read recently was actually, a a narrative art book 
called uh, Electric State, which is really good. Where am I from, if you don't mind me asking? I won't give you my exact location, but I am from the United States, and particularly the southern United States. What do you think my favorite book is? Well, I don't need to think about what my favorite book is. I can tell you. My favorite book is Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. Altered carbon, you mean like that kind that's coming out of your mouth right now? <laughs> sure, yeah, why not? But also, yeah, many different meanings. Uh, Colonel, I managed to avoid paying child support. I know that line. What Stephen King book did you get? Uh, what? Oh, shit, I had to go look at it because I bought it like last year, but I haven't started reading it yet. It was one from, uh, it's not, uh, I don't know, I think it's called Fairy Tale, actually. It's not one of his horror books. It's one of his like more adventure books almost. A Stephen King fan? Uh, am I a Stephen King fan? Uh, he's got a lot of books that I like, but I have not really been into stuff he's written in recent years. Most of the Stephen King books I've, I've read came from like, he wrote, he, he wrote them like in like the 80s and 90s. And a few from the 70s, I think. Like, I haven't really liked a lot of his more recent, like, books of the last two decades. He's just a very different author from... I mean, obviously, he's healthier now since he's not coked out all the time. So, props to him for that. But, I think his writing suffered a little bit. Or his creativity, anyways. I think he also just writes too many damn books. He needs to spend a little bit more time on each one. Uh, was that around when he was taking drugs? Well, yeah, he, like, I think he's, like, taking drugs from, like, all of his early career and also drinking a lot. <laughs> like, he doesn't even remember writing, like, a bunch of his books from those times. He was just too coked out. When you used to watch the news, did they have hot weather girls? I have, the only news I ever bothered watching was jo The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. <laughs> I didn't sit there and watch, like, yo, cable news. If I need news, I read it, because I can read a lot faster than they can tell me. And I really just had, like, the facts. You read Uzumaki first, and then... Uh, oh, yeah, Junji Ito is the, the... I mentioned two horror manga I have to read. Uh, it is collections of his work. Doesn't remember writing Kujo? Yeah, that's the one. He also doesn't remember giving the eulogy at his... That is a lot of coke he was on. Naruto Uzumaki, different Uzumaki. It's like it's about it's a horror manga about a town that's like obsessed with spirals. It's like famous. Stephen Colbert, John Stewart. Uh, I don't know. I always prefer John Stewart. I like Stephen Colbert, but it it was just a very different taste. The Weather Girls in Britain, <laughs> and you you're drooling. I mean, all right, I'll take your word for it. Are you a speed reader? I enjoy reading, but unfortunately, I'm not that fast of it. I can read. Very, I mean, look, you see me reading two chats simultaneously. I kind of have to be a speed reader to do any of this. So, yeah, I can read fairly fast over, like, since I've, like, uh, you know, I mean, just it's just what you got to do. I got to play a game and also take, like, a brief second to look over and, like, scan a few messages and see if there's something worth, you know, talking about. So that alone is, like, sped me up, like, put me on, like, Energy, the like Red Bull energy when I'm like reading. All right, let me see if I can find the subway exit I got to get onto. Now that my voice is recovered. Like I need, okay, everything is just Hazel Street, no matter where I go. Like Bergen Street is over there. I keep, but, I, but that's Hazel Street over there too. Well, we got a free health drink. What's your favorite Junji Ito manga? Uh, obviously, yeah, I was going to say The Fault uh, in Ishigura Fault is like the famous one. But I think overall, it's still going to be Uzumaki. I also like the He's got some really weird ones, too, like the one where the fish grow robot legs. Uh, but uh, it's really hard to like top 
the Shigara fault. Like, that's become like a cultural reference. What do you think about the zero versions of sodas? Uh, Pepsi Zero is pretty good. Or like a Mountain Dew Pe Zero. Not too different from diet though, but it's what it is. What it is. Uh, Easel Street exit north in, maybe it is up here I gotta go to. Isn't there another one where two people become slugs and start reproducing? <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. I also remember another one that's kind of mimetic about this, like, a uh, stay-at-home, like, brother who is, like, it's obsessed with eating, like, cooking oil, and they, like, starts, like, emitting, like, oil g grossness from his face. And he's like, eh, it's just like, Ugh. it's one of those ick. Ugh. No, thank you. Squishes them all, yeah. I mean, that, that's the scene I'm thinking of. Easel Street. Uh, Jesus Christ, where? Where, Gabe? You have a Steam Deck? I do. Took it with me when I went to LA back in. Yo, oh. Oh, I think we made it. This looks evil enough to be, like, correct. I think it's unfair they actually make a dog sound when they're a monster. Some damages. Eh, I'm good. How was my trip to LA? It was actually pretty great. Never been there before. Saw a lot of neat things. So, had a pretty good damn time, actually. I got super tired on, like, the old New Year's Eve, though. Because <laughs> I, I, I did kind of catch strep throat while I was there, and I just got exhausted because I got it right on New Year's Eve. dogs in Silent Hill 4 make big cats. Well, that's the nurses in Silent Hill 4 burp. They just like straight up burp. And it's comical. Path is blocked with trash. I can't go through here. Oh. Next time you come to LA area, go to Lancaster to see the poppy fields in April. Uh, I didn't go there, but I did go to Joshua Tree. That was pretty nice. Anything else here? Miyazaki, on the other hand, seems like a variable douchebag. He is known for being a bit of a grump. Burping made you, it makes everyone laugh. Especially when she falls on the stairs and burps on every stair down. Joshua Tree is amazing at night if you can see a good amount of constellations. I don't think we did that. Like it wasn't exactly the right time of year to be there since it was winter. So it's kind of cold outside. But I still went there. So I never since I had never actually been in a desert before and I wanted to check it out. You got a nutcracker. Haven't we busted enough nuts already? <laughs> busted too many nuts in this game. What does that even do for me? Rusty and impossible to turn. This is for cracking open nuts. Is this a metaphor that I never caught on before that you keep busting nuts? 
I mean, given that, that so much of this game has like hidden metaphors for like you know childbirth and abortion and stuff, it wouldn't surprise me if it was going for that. Out of Mountain Dews, do you like the original? I don't like any type of like soda that's sweetened. That's no, they're too sweet, and I I don't like drinking that many calories. So I don't I never drink like non diet. All these nuts. Thing is, I haven't found anything to like bust with this yet. Cock and ball torture, Mr. Freeman. Cock and ball torture, otherwise known as CBT, <coughs> is the application of pain to the testicles. I need that kneecap. Hmm, how many but I'm I'm actually pretty good. Discord. I actually don't have a Discord code to set up for YouTube to work. I actually should get more of those codes going. But if you want my Discord and YouTube, you can find it right down below the stream. In the box. But then again, Puff, you're already on my Discord. What? Uh, but yeah, I, I don't have any, like, like action codes sent up for, like, YouTube, unfortunately. Alright, uh, keep going down, maybe? Trash, huh? You called like a dead homeless person trash, Heather? Yeah, I know. I want the bullets that are there. Path is blocked with trash. Jesus Christ, girl. You voting Republican, are you? Is someone sleeping here? All this red stuff around here is blood. This guy's not sleeping. Why am I not the least bit surprised? I think that nightmare has numbed my senses a little. Hmm. This guy are sick. <laughs> also, uh, Reno, thank you for the 40 months, man. Hmm. Had to ask besides to Mountain Dews, Code Red, and Baja Blast. No, I really don't drink much soda. It's really just Diet Pepsi and occasionally, like, uh... Mountain Dew Zero. That's really it. I don't really want to, like, have a wide variety of shows. Ow! My face! Go. I hate the subway so much in this level. It's so terrible. I think I need to get leave this area. Is Heather a good protagonist? Yes, she's actually one. If honestly, she might be the best protagonist in the series. It's probably not. not I don't know, there's probably disagreement on that, but I think she does a really good job at it. Yeah, I guess that's all I can do here. I was curious, so I looked at your profiles on YouTube and Twitch, but no pics. You wanted to know what I look like? I mean, it's no mystery, honestly. I mean, I put out YouTube videos on my YouTube channel with my face in it. And if you... I also have done live streams using a camera before as well. Oh, yeah. My face is no big mystery. But, you know, everyone tells me my voice is so amazing. Why wouldn't I put that front and center? How did 
did I get into this place? I don't see the entrance anymore. <laughs> Favorite protagonist in general? Uh, I don't know. Does anyone truly have a favorite protagonist? hate lost media we should take more care of that stuff uh i agree sucks to lose things to like you know unknowable uh the chains holding the doors together are secured with a bolt and nut oh a nut you say <laughs> the nut is screwed on tight and can't be turned with my hands Dardigan wasn't lying about looking like Booker DeWitt. <laughs> Do I think they'll reference Skullface in Metal Gear Solid 3? So from what, I, what little we know about the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake is that it's essentially just going to be a graphical and slight gameplay overhaul of the original game. They're going to like use all the original audio. So I don't know. Finally, <laughs> progress. Progress. What's up, Heather's obsession with the nuts, man? It's just like the the Silent Hill world keeps having her crack them. That's all there is to it. The metaphor, man. Use your brain. Get them brain cells a few temperature degrees higher. This game's all about genitals, don't you know? Oh, we're taking the... <laughs> we must live in the rough section of town. Have a good night. A hey, courage, have a good night to you, man. Thanks for being here. Yeah, definitely the rough section of town. It's a gift wrap box. Could it be a birthday present? No, I guess not. Nobody I know would give me something this gross. But I'll take it anyway. It should come in handy against the monsters. I like how she debated, like, oh, shotgun. In this situation, like, hmm. I wouldn't have to give that more than a, like, a, oh, shotgun grab. Like, need. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah, it's like, she keeps getting all these, like, free shit to, uh, today, isn't she? The radio, the pistol, the shoddy. Please look up teabaggin. You think I know what teabaggin is? I invented teabaggin, man. I was the first among all the Halo players to ever, like, dip his crotch into another man's face. Ooh. Might as well use his new shiny. Do you really be like all spread out there with your legs open like that? Oh, he a coming, chat. He be coming. 
very slowly as his AI ain't programmed to get around that post. That's just funny. Kick him in the balls while he's down. Kick it! Kick it! He likes it. Fuck this shit, I'm out. I forget what this is supposed to represent as an enemy. Oh, he's deflating. He deflate, Chad. He deflate. Also, thank you for the bits, by the way. Uh, Sanwatronic. Okay, so we got the shoddy. Are you aware you're kicking a person with cancer? I'm sorry, what? How am I supposed to know that? They didn't show me their CT scan. Hmm. What's a little bitty, Ray? How you doing? Are we on the right track? I can't really tell. There are step ladders and wheelbarrows blocking the way I can't get through. Are you aware? But, but yes, I, I kick many people with cancer daily. Happy Sunday? Oh, well, happy Sunday. Bergen Street. Oh, can, is this finally the way? Are we on the right path? It's it says Hazel Street again. What the fuck? I don't get it. Oh, oh, I now I recall that door. Okay. However, I'm pretty sure I die if I jump on the tracks. is broken. I can't. Fuck you. What the hell? That was that 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 camera angle lied to me. Remember? Yeah, I, this is like the worst part of the game. This freaking subways. They don't even give you a map of this area. Uh, like. Like is that like it's a like that's a door you can never open. It's just like a trap to pull you into it. You got half the puzzle. I got the nutcracker and I got that one area, but then I got the shotgun there and there was nothing else to do there. Took the bait. Okay, that's like really shitty thing to do because usually the camera angle changing like that is indicative of like, oh go here, gamer. Go back up to the door. Look, trying to find that door again is going to be a pain in the ass. This place is like Lost City. Okay, this is where I came from. I 
think there's a little bit of a sewer system after this area too, right? I'm not scary this game. Well, I don't find any horror game scary, but some people cannot play these games. Did we get our first bot? Did I get a bot? Hello, I would greatly appreciate if you support Senator Armstrong. No, that is not a bot. That is someone memeing. Senator Armstrong is, uh, well, I want... Not exactly a real candidate. Then again, it could be just a bot that just posts nano machine memes. Who knows? I'll take that over bots that are like, just, hey, would you like to, like, buy your viewers? This is where I got the shoddy and fought that enemy. What would I say is my best quality? I'm very patient. I would say. Yeah, the, I'm not sure why I came back here, or I was led to come back here. Pussy in bio. Why have I been seeing pussy in bio so much recently? <laughs> Did you watch John Jimmy Neutron? I never really watched Jimmy Neutron. I, I've seen memes about Jimmy Neutron. Maybe that's where I came up. What? Try to open that locked door on the train tracks again. You almost had it. The one I just came from that I got killed on because it said you'll broken. <laughs> Yep, I'll, I'll go back and try it again. I just want to check down this way. I think you just want to get me to kill myself again, don't you? It's like, see if I can get him to do it again. Hold up. That's where I just came from. Rare thing. These Is patience a rare thing? Really? I mean, you kind of have to have learn to have it at some point. Otherwise, life is miserable. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, I heard something. Pussy in Patreon. No, only like cat pics. So, tenderly pussy in Patreon. Growing strong and healthy, Minmo, cat, pussy, and subway. <clears throat> I'm not bothering to shoot you. Top tier patron, gonna see the dart. I've shown pictures of my cat before. Go back and check the red door, then run past it to the platform. I know I just wanted to like check up here because I'm pretty sure I just came all the way back though. Oh, I hate this fucking subway. This is the worst part of the game. This is so wretched to figure out your way through. And if you get lost, you're like stuck again. Fine, I'll go kill myself on the subway again. That was fun, right? This way or this way?
Pick the red door, then run back to the platform. I think that's what got me killed last time. Oh, ow! Where, oh god, where am I? Fuck, I hate this place. This is not the way I came back up. Or did it spawn the dogs in again? Like, the rest of the game is so good, but god, they really just dropped it on the subway area. It is honestly, like, one of the worst levels of Silent Hill in any of the games. Do I have a game I play for fun, don't stream? Uh, not currently. Get out of my way. Okay, this is not the right way. This is like the dog chamber. Are there other, but uh, this is your average subway experience. They intentionally don't let you have a map of this place either. Oh shit. Are there other games that you overall really like but have that section that's hard to get through? Like this, yeah, there's plenty of games like that. There's always like some, especially a lot of 2000s games and 90s games. Well, there's pretty, really good games that will have like that section that everyone acknowledges, like, yeah, it's a low point. Like, for instance, Half-Life, the original, has Zen. Overall, amazing game, change games forever. Total warp on it. My ass! Ow, that's not a good place to be biting. but that's excessive. They were trying to recreate that famous, like, commercial image. <sighs> I'd at least like to, like, make a little bit of progress before I stop. I'm gonna feel bad if I don't. This way? No. Save point. So where my beginning of me being lost kind of began. How much do you have left tonight? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to find like a I'm trying to like do something in this goddamn subway. So I don't start from like a position of like being completely totally lost tomorrow.
map is on the garbage bin? Where did I just run past it? I don't know if it's gonna help me any, but it'll definitely help some. See one. Wherever it's at, it's it's no, it's no chance of me finding it now. <laughs> Zero chance of me finding it. All right, here we are. We're, we're kind of back on track now. Go back this way. Good night, Ake. Celestial, have a good night, man. Thanks for being here. Let me go this way. Is it weird you turn off the radio? I mean, it's a disadvantage to yourself, but it can make it... The noise does make it creepier, obviously. <clears throat> Alright, and I think it was down here that had the red door. On the platform with the door on the tracks, I think there's a gate you can unlock. That's the, that's the door down there, so I mean this one. Okay, <clears throat> and that takes me over to the area where I've been. Yeah, okay. But I will, oh, oh, no, 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 not there! You, you... Get up. Can she... Get up. She, she, she just wants to end it, chat. It's once it did. There's the door. Much easier playing these games with a controller, yeah, but the PC version doesn't support controllers. So you have to use like a third party app application to like force it into doing it. Whether that'll be any good or not, I don't know. Do I gotta try the door first? I didn't get up in time. Or I did. Why do they force you to look? That's a, that's a troll. I feel like. Absolute troll. He made he made it. He he is the he is him. He did it. I'm him. I've always been him. I can never not be him. I got my DNA tested. I'm 100% Himalayan. Where's the actual fucking door? subway for long. You're, everyone is like doesn't have a solid memory of this place ends up in the subway fucking forever 
Do I gotta get into the door from the other side of the station somehow? There's no open door from my side. Other gate, of course. The other gate. Have a nice evening. I still have a good night, man. Alright, let us try to find our way over to the other gate. And I like move the camera so I can see. So the other gate is Bergen Street, which I've never been able to find the way to. Done this all the way. Or the action button. Well, in this game, the action button is mouse click. Maybe here? I don't think so. on jumping. Oh, okay, I don't think the train's coming anymore anyway. Maybe I can just run across. Nope. This is great birthday party music. How come you can't just ride a train out of the evil place? Good, good question. I don't have an answer for you. I mean, that's technically what we're trying to do, but you know what? Instead of taking a taxi, we decided to do it this way. Been here for four hours. Okay, the stream is not even been going for about four hours. Okay, this is like the old ghetto trains, so and not that one. But yeah, this is the this is as bad as the game ever gets. The rest of it is all great. Well, the final boss can be a bit shit, if we're being a hundred percent honest. game. Just tell me where you want me. Just give me an icon. Give me some yellow paint. I'll accept it at this point. Come here for the end of level. Yellow paint line. Give it to me. Slather me up in that guidance shit. Okay, this is not the right way. This is just where you come to get some items. Thought you were done the station. We activated the part. We activated the subway train, but we gotta get to the other side of it because it only doesn't. The door is not open on the side we were on. Go figure, but so now I'm trying to find the other area I gotta get to, and then we'll be done with this, this fucking train station. Just trying to find it. Oh, God. Oh, wait. 
does this actually take you? Maybe this way. Also, uh, Torados Therian, I probably just butchered your name. Thank you for the membership, dude. Much appreciated. Okay, this was that that thing. And this is not right either. Oh, I hate. Oh, I hate. I feel the hate bubbling up inside. I feel it transforming. <laughs> There's nothing to make a man hate like wasting his time in bad design. Ah. Let it flow. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Uh, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know where it wants me to go at this point. Then Bergen Street. Bergen Street. Maybe this side. This is like trying to like navigate the lost forest in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time without the music guiding you. You don't want to be that guy, no be that guy. Be him. Everything looks the fucking same. Just, I'm choosing shit at random at this point. This is oh, I'm back here. Oh my fucking god. Said you've been streaming for ooh, now. I've been streaming for four hours. Yep. Four hours and sixteen minutes, in fact. What happens if I just keep going up? All right, let me try that. Check all the train. I did check all the train doors. I think I've actually gotten lost longer this time than the first, the last time I played through this game. That's actually impressive. I've degraded. There's a newspaper left on top of the ticket machine. Fatal accident on Hazel Street. About. 11 p.m. on the 4th, a man waiting for the platform at the Hazel Street Station fell into the tracks and was decapitated by the arriving St. Renata College-bound train. The victim died instantly. While police have not yet determined whether the death was an accident or suicide, witnesses report that the victim did not look inebriated, seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. 
Victim identity is still unknown. He was approximately 40 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall. He was wearing a black jacket. Newspaper is 4 months old. What is it doing here now? Subway map is near this newspaper. That's what I'm looking for, but... There's one right here, but... She says she knows it. She says she knows it, chat. Yeah, I've actually gone full circle, came all the way back to the beginning of this place. Back to the bus. There's a door to unlock. I checked all the doors. I don't even know if I can find the bus anymore. It's a lost cause. We're doomed. Wait, is that the map? All right, that might help me out. Oh, that would have been nice to have had earlier. All right. Okay. Like the red thing is the train car, I think, right? Is it the, uh, this is still confusing. This is a terrible map. <laughs> All right. I found the locked door. I mean, I'm looking through the map right now for it. Like this is where the plat the the subway car is, right? Head down to where the train is and enter the gate on the opposite end of the gate. You, I tried that, didn't I? It's like you got to come down from the other side of it, I think. Oh, I'm just like defeated. Oh, like finding my way back down there is going to be a pain in the ass. There's a door you didn't unlock yet to the bus. I don't know. I mean, I tried all the doors on it. Like, I'm just like at this point, I don't even know how to get back to it. Eyes actually hurt. I'm glazing over, chat. I ain't got much time left. The end is near. Did you get the cutscene of the train arriving? Yes. That was like nearish here, wasn't it? I think I might need to go down platform four. Is there any game I refuse to play? I don't know if there's any game I refuse to play. There's games I don't have any interest in. I usually don't have any interest in sports games. 
How's my health looking? Not great. Okay, this is where the subway car is. These doors do not open. I'm going to check. Unless people were mentioning something else. There's a door I didn't lock up the stairs? What? Maybe you need an item. If there's a if there's an item or door unlock here, then I would it'd be like give me it would tell me when I click on the door. You want to board the train but all the doors on this side or that's what yeah, that's the idea, yes. I need to get over to the other platform. Now the one the the big noisy room I just went down the stairs of, that's platform four, but I didn't see the subway train there either. And also there's over there. That and then what? There's probably a reason you're gonna lock this, so maybe over here. That doesn't unlock that gate. I just ran my face into. <clears throat> I've told you guys that ain't how it works. Uh. Uh. Dude, I just want to make sounds that like. Uh. Uh. Let me try this. <clears throat> Let me try this. Just following the train? I did keep following the train from beginning to end. Yeah, there's like multiple platform fours. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Wait, hold on a second. Is that over there? What happens if I jump over here and is it going to kill me? Yep. You fucking game. Try going to the far back. I did. <laughs> That's where I ran my face to a minute ago. Here we are. This is this is the train. We got to get on this, but the only doors to get into it are on the other side somehow. I'm not sure how that works. Go back to the bus. What do you mean by bus? This is this is a train. <laughs> go go to the end and up the stairs. That's where I just went. I got, I got, I got to get, get, I got to like do a few Nama stays here. Next gate has no door. You have to ascend the stairs and head down to this side. Grab the health drink on the front. We'll see. I, I've been up these stairs multiple times and come down these stairs. 
and so far it, it just everything looks too similar to figure it out okay maybe i don't know is this it yeah i've actually grabbed the health drink here already i've been to this area before oh god finally oh fuck this place oh this is a terrible level terrible forgotten how bad the subway was actually the chat they actually managed you know subways are terrible in real life this game actually managed to represent that pretty accurately you know like you know what no one likes being on it there's a newspaper on the floor it's nothing but garbage Nothing, not the same old boring articles. This lady does not care about the news. Symbols drawn the floor. I hope I don't get cursed just by stepping on it. Finally going. Isn't there like a sort of like... I think it's like a sewer system part section before you get back to the apartment though, right? In Japan and South Korea, they're always clean. Yeah, that's the, the, this is not those places though. This is not those places. This is an American subway, God damn it. The magazine floor doesn't look very useful. Uh, let's not waste ammo on these. chicken. I wouldn't recommend you trying to eat it. Empty juice can. Just another piece of trash. She is so cynical. It's just garbage in my life. A bit of a nihilist, aren't you, Heather? Then again, after that subway adventure, I don't blame you. Is the teenage girl true? That that defeats all logic. Okay, I actually don't know if I can survive another fight with one of these right now. <laughs> so we're gonna have to heal. This is like a big one. Kill the walking uterus. subway i'd actually never been on a subway until just last year like in just right as like in december when i uh, actually no last october when i went to new york for the first time the newspaper on the floor it's nothing but garbage yeah but i know first aid kit what is this thing what is that what is that thing It looks like something you should be able to pick up. It's 
a falling handrail. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Oh, these guys. Come on. Come on. Come on, big fella. No, kick him the balls. Oh, he's oh he he ooh, he gets a new move. You still alive? <laughs> He dead. He's super dead. Leave his balls alone. That's his weak point. Sweet home, I think. <laughs> Looks like it was just put here, too. But by whom and why does my head do this red thingy? Unknown station. So we're technically not done with the subway yet. We got a little bit more, but I think we'll leave that for tomorrow. Because that, that, that one subway trip took it all out of me. You're sleepy, I'm sleepy too, and I've already gone over by 36 minutes. So I'm thinking that will be a good ending spot, actually. What an adventure we've had tonight, chat. Oh. Tomorrow, though, we'll be, you know, be getting good again. Well, it was good at the beginning. This is that subway section. Holy crap. But we're almost done with that, and then we get, you know, to Silent Hill. Please join the Discord. Yeah, please join the Discord. You can find a link to it down below. Or if you're on Twitch, you can type in the Discord code. Thanks for the stream. Oh, thank you guys for being a part of it. You guys are a part of it, you know. And streams are only as half as good as a streamer and half as good as the chat. I don't know why. I think that's incorrect math, but you know what? You get the idea. But I want to thank you guys for well, everyone, guys and gals, uh, for joining me tonight. Hopefully you had some fun. Uh, hopefully you uh, woke the memories of horror games of the past for you. Uh, thank you for any memberships, subs, gift subs, super chats, bits, all that amazing stuff. Thank you very much. Quite a bit that was thrown around tonight, so I thank you. Uh, thank you to the wonderful mod team as well. And uh, yeah, thanks once again for spending some time with me tonight. I will be streaming again tomorrow. We'll play more Silent Hill 3, alright? And then, and also no more frustrating bits from what I remember. Except for like maybe the final area of the game. That can be a little, little, you know, a little weird. But not nearly as bad as a subway. Alright, that's all I got on me tonight. I'm tired. I'm going to get, you know, rest of the voice tomorrow. I got a lot of editing ahead of me before I do the live stream. But I'll see you then. Promise. Peace, everybody. <laughs>